And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Shit Podcast. After our edition, join six lovely ladies. Got a great show planned for y'all. Let's get into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. Did you like Ain't it good? In the day, I'm in my heart. In the night, I'm a sucker. I live among the creatures of the night. I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. Man. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to serious. leave? Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not possible to see. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe. Oh, I'm We are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We'll join six lovely ladies. Quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Guys, get all the behind the scenes content there that you can't get anywhere else, whether it's kicking out annoying ass girls, Zoom calls. I'm going to post a Zoom call probably either later tonight or tomorrow. It was uh, it takes a while to render, guys, but uh, it's going to be up there. We basically did an open Q&A with a bunch of you guys and answered a bunch of questions when it comes to, you know, dating, getting money, real estate investing, you know, building wealth, uh, Instagram, marketing yourself. Credit, all that stuff, man. getting in shape, not being a fat piece of shit, all that stuff that you need to become a better version of yourself. We talk about it on the Zoom calls, guys, so we're going to go ahead and post it on Patreon. Also, uh, the Fed episode from yesterday that got taken down is also over there on Patreon, unedited, but it's also up on Fed as well, which I'll talk about that here in a second. But anyway, uh, check us out on Spotify, guys, and Google and Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts, every single platform. Y'all listen to podcasts. We're there. Just make sure you guys wear headphones so you don't get canceled or fired at your job. Um, it's anchor.fm slash freshfit. Also, get the merch, Fresh Your Podcast Store dot com uh you get the t-shirts hoodies all that stuff is there um and then also guys check out our other youtube channels called fresh of it clips we post two clips on there per day we take somewhere between you know two to ten minute clips put them on the clips channel and uh 76 of people on that channel that watch this content are not subscribed so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to that channel guys and we'll give you a friendly little reminder right now this is the channel here uh two seconds yeah um, <clears throat> this is the Fresh Fit Clips channel, guys. As you guys can see, we've had a bunch of different guests from academics to Tate to Steve Will Do It, Long Beach Griffey Rolo, Bradley Martin, Robert Kiyosaki, the minorities, Kodak Black, uh, King Sid. We bring you guys an array of different types of guests, man. No other podcast brings this diversified type, uh, diversified panel of guests, man. You know, everything from self improvement to getting girls to everything, guys. So check it out, man. We post the best parts over there on the clip channel, two clips per day, and we also post shorts over there. So check us out, Fresh Fit Clips. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to that channel. Also, uh, Fresh has a vlog channel. So guys, for educational purposes, for networking, um, advice on marketing, and also as well, some lifestyle, check out the vlog channel. How'd you going away? Let's go. And then uh, you guys can check out my YouTube channel. It's called Fed1811. On there, I break down criminal cases for you guys. As you guys know, I saw, um, be a special agent with Homeland Security. Did that for a better part of a decade. So, you know, I have a very intimate knowledge on how these criminal investigations work. So actually, I, yesterday I reacted to a documentary called Operation Shattered Shield, which was the biggest police corruption takedown in New Orleans back in the 90s during the crack epidemic. And we broke down how these cops were, you know, extorting drug dealers, being a shot out of them, d doing murder for hire, all that other stuff. We broke down the documentary. I gave you guys a bunch of insider stuff that you probably aren't going to get from any other YouTuber, man. So go check it out, guys. It's back up on Feta1811. If you guys like that type of content, crime dramas, whatever it may be, I break down all different types of things, whether it's documentaries, your favorite rapper getting arrested. I did the YNW Melly murder case. I did Push Ice's gun case. I break down all different types of cases. Six Nights uh, Rico case, I did that as well. And the timestamps are there, guys. So if you guys want to learn how criminal investigations are done from my unique perspective, go check it out, Feta1811. But without further ado, uh, go ahead, Fred, Chris. Hey, Chris. Uh, ladies, uh, DM me there and see Poxen on IG. Uh, make sure if you send a DM to our Fresh and Fit podcast page, I won't be able to see it. Send it to my personal page, Aaron C. Poxen. And if you're flying in from some other state to uh, Miami, uh, book a you know a session with us. Let's make it happen, ladies. There you All go. Right, cool. So uh, let's introduce the ladies on the panel, man. Ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. So name, age, what you do for a living, dating um, status. My name is Riley. I'm 27. I thought uh, it was Pammy. I'm a bartender. Uh, yeah, Pammy in high school. Um... I'm a bartender and I am not single right now. I'm in a relationship. Cool. Uh, how long? Um, a year. Nice. Okay. And then uh, you said um, education level? Um, a uh, an associate's in college. Cool. All right. What'd you get it in? 
Um, business administration. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, welcome. Okay, hey, I'm Trey. I'm 23. I am dating. Um, not a relationship. Not single. Translation, smash and I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in school for um, education and a minor in legal studies. Mm-hmm. I currently work at American Airlines. Nice, cool. You a flight attendant or just no, just corporate? customer service. Yeah. Okay, cool. So when anyone wants to change their flight, you're the one answering the phone call. Call me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to change my flight. I'm in Miami. I don't want to go back to New York or wherever I'm from. Yo, why is it so hard to change a name on a flight? It should be taking forever, bro. Uh, 9-11, my friend. Yeah, that's why. You know, <laughs> oh. It's a lot. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they got to make sure the uh, ID matches. You know. Right. So. You, you, you misspell one letter, bro. You got to do a whole bunch yeah. of yeah. This yeah. is yeah. Yeah, this federal. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> a big deal. Okay. You could blame those dudes from 9-11, so that's why they're so strict. Your cousins? Um, Marin people. Yeah, my, my cousins. Uh, what about you? My name's Julia. I'm uh-huh. 22, and I am a flight attendant. Okay. And I'm also in a relationship. All right. Nice. How long have I been together? Uh, a little less than a year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Is he in the airline industry as well? He is not. No. Okay. Fair He's enough. Businessman. Uh, and then He's highest education business. level completed? Man. Um, I'm still in school, finishing my bachelor's in math. Okay. In math? Yeah. Oh, shit. I need you. Are you going <laughs> to... I need you. like a teacher? So I haven't heard someone say they majored no, in math in a long uh, time. I originally wanted to do a STEM degree so I could go into intellectual property law. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm still not sure what I want to do. I might do accounting now. Because okay. Because my, um, my airline pays for school, but they don't have STEM degrees. Uh, so I might just... Well, that makes sense. They're going to pay for degrees that actually will incentivize you to stay with them. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Fair enough. Okay. Smart. That's how you do it. Uh, all right. What about you? Welcome back. Hi. I thank you. I'm Lily. I'm 26, single, education level, EKG technician. Um, and I currently work for my dad. He's a commercial contractor. And what else? Uh, um, body count. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm done. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it, um, is your dad's business here in Florida or is it in, te- in Texas? Okay. All right. Houston. So, all right. So you're here back in. Do you live here or there? Over there. Okay. We all live over there. Oh, okay. So y'all just came from Texas mm-hmm. recently. You guys are here on vacation mm-hmm. or something like that. Wait, who, you and her and, and Julia. Okay, y'all all are from, yeah, from Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston. Them, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Nice. Um, Welcome back. Thank you. Cool. Oh, hi. My name is Sasha, and I'm 23, and I am a model and an actress, and also I own a studio, like a music studio. Nice. And uh, dating status? Um, right now I'm she belongs to the streets. I'm single, <laughs> but I really like someone, so I'm being loyal to them because I like them. Okay, who is it? I can't say. No, it's not, it's is it a idea. musician? Yes. Okay, figured. Right. <laughs> uh, and you said you own a music studio. Like, do you rent it out to people to record? Yes. Okay. All right. That's dope. That's dope. More power to you, man. I would never do that shit. People go go in there and fuck it up or make it smell like weed and shit like that. These artists. No, because I usually have people that are like successful. I don't like let random like people in there. Okay. Oh, but it's like rappers though that go in there, right? It's very. My studio is very like rock. Very rock. uh, Okay. Smart. You only open it up to a certain demographic of musician. Smart. Okay. Oh my gosh. Fair no. enough. You people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, no. I mean, like, managing a studio is a pain in the ass, bro. They come in, they'll fuck up your equipment. Because people ask me, yo, can I use your studio? I don't no, give a fuck. How much you try to pay? No. gang at my studio, and they they didn't fuck anything up. Like, people are respectful. That's good. That's, That's good. good. But like I said, other people may not be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like a major artist label. So they're, they're going to be a little bit more respectful. But a lot of other people, like, they'll they'll fuck it up, man. Because we've been asked, yo, we use like your studio those to rappers. record and shit. And we, I always say no. I don't care how much they pay because I don't trust people with our equipment. So anyway, uh, cool. Um, that was it, right? Oh, yeah. Highest education level completed. Oh, I uh, have two licenses. So I have... Um... My cosmetologist license, and I also have my electrologist and laser license. That's amazing. (laughs) Thanks. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) All right. What about you? Hey, guys. It's Zena. Um, Underscore the witch. I'm back. Same thing. New day. Still single. On the market. Happy. Um, any of you girls that want to come on Fresh and Fit, DM me. And I like anime. Wait, weren't you dating someone in this room? No. 
Joke, joke, joke. Snicker, bro. <laughs> yes, everyone oh is saying God. that me and Xena are smashing. We're not smashing, guys. You know what? Okay. Why don't we just tell them the truth? Okay. We are not smashing. Oh, there okay. you go. <laughs> 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 we are. Oh, no. You <laughs> swear. God damn it. I'm going to clip that and use it forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm an artist. I paint. Um, I'm also an ex-convict, so doesn't really work. <laughs> Shake it um, around, guys. We pulled up a Fred case one time. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm a changed woman. Fresh and fit has changed me, you know. Hopefully. Definitely living for the better. I am seeing that uh, I'm a high value woman. So looking for a high value <laughs> man. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop it. Who um, said that? <laughs> highest level of education, high school, some homeschool, a lot of homeschooling, and, you know, just I'm a bookworm. I love learning shit. And, um, welcome back. What else? What else? I have OnlyFans, y'all. Subscribe. All right. Lovely. So uh, we're going to go ahead and read some of these chats real quick. Uh, she a 10, but ain't got a dad. And that's two bucks from Future. Thank you, Future. I appreciate that. Two bucks, man. Uh, Michael Mistro, uh Chris is the number one producer. Thanks, okay. Man. Chris paid him to say that. Three dicklets, 100 bucks. Bring my queen, Brittany Griner, home. Who? Who's Brittany Griner? Brittany. I think Mo got son. Go ahead. Um, WNBA player. Oh, one of the that's best. in Russia yeah. right now, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How you don't know? Yeah, they caught her with like weed or something like that at the airport, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. And they and they brought her in. A small amount. Yep. Yeah. A vaping. Well, that's why I tell y'all, man, don't do drugs, bro. Uh, Capital G, ladies, prepare to lose every single argument tonight. You have no chance. Okay. Uh, hopefully we'll get to that. Happy Monday, FNF is Jose TMF going to be featured in the after hour show in the future? Oh, teach him his fashion. Uh, next time he's in Miami, yeah, man. I mean, he was on a tight schedule last time, so we were able to squeeze an interview. Miami area code three hundred four. Shout out to F and F and the three hundred fours in the panel. Cool. Uh, ten bucks from Juan Antonio. Which ladies are single mothers? Do you deserve a high quality man? Any woman? Anybody here a single mom? No. no. All right, fantastic. No single moms. Uh, five <laughs> bucks from J Rob, uh, GC, and Team Energy. Martin, we all know single moms are recreation use only. Should we feel the same about military women? The military makes the weakest of men strong. Uh, I don't know about that, but um, yeah. What's That's the thing with single moms tonight? What yeah, the? yeah, they're going at them. Uh, the Troll Village Citizen gains harem. Oh, God. All right. Jeff White. Shout out to Big Mo. We are on the same journey. Yes, man. You got to. That's good that you're losing the weight. Venom 2 3. On the spirit of today's episode, question for the ladies on the panel. Do you know your credit score? What is it? Oh, shit. That's a good one. All right, we can go real quick we'll on this. Let's start one. here. Xena. What? Do you know your credit she score? Was like, what? And what, what is your credit score? What is my credit score? Yeah. Oh, um, definitely like 425. <laughs> oh, God damn. 420 to be exact. There you go. Okay. Um, Do you know your credit score? Yeah. It's 748 or something like Great. that. Nice. Good job. Stop the yeah, cap. Thanks. Not cap. Okay. <laughs> Get you gas so. cards and your credit will be really good. Okay. okay. What, what, what card is specifically do you use? I literally like all gas stations. I have cards for all of them. You, yeah. you wait, have a credit wait, card wait, per gas? What? Yeah. No, that's true, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. They do that. The gas card? Yes. Mm -hmm. You mean like Shell, Chevron? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the blueprint. It makes How your blueprint? credit really good. But also, like, I've had apartments and stuff before. That's an, so you have a credit card listen. for every different type of gas station? Yeah. Listen, that's Why not new. just get a cashback card that gives you 5% <laughs> on gas stations? Because I, I have, like, my card gives me cash back on different stuff. Okay, okay. That, that's uh, different. Yeah, that's, I've that's, never heard that. Yeah, that, that that's is... That's cool, though. It's cool. Uh, first, it's for works. sure. Uh, um, two months ago, mine was seven fifty two. Okay. Okay. So, what happened two months ago? I bought a new car. A company A new company car. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they ran a credit. All right. That's cool. What about you? Uh, around, like, six ninety. I'm still building up from a car payment. So. Okay. I, but I have a secure credit card that's helping me go okay. higher. We nice. talked about that on the last episode yeah, with secure credit cards. There you cards. go. Working yeah. it. I'm a 628, I believe. Okay. The last time. But All right. Yeah, I have a little trade lines that's coming. I just have a closed account that I never paid. Oh, okay. Shit. That's and, what's fucking you and, up. Yeah. And don't want to pay, but I'm going to pay. <laughs> don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell no. All right. What about you? Um, Five. 89 or something probably but i'm working on it i am working on it right now Fair i enough. ruined it when i was younger so uh, it's always the past right yeah, well, college ruins it, it was yeah, the i mean i've always said like hey man i said on the last episode and people might consider this sexist but women are 80 percent of the consumer base and women hold three quarters of the debt so they, like it's it, and this isn't to pick on y'all but like guys you need to think about this shit when you take on a girlfriend you know if y'all want to get serious and she has a lot of debt oh, shit. real quick yeah would you want to date a guy with a good score or a bad score 
Um, Ideally, a, a good score, obviously. But like, Why? if he w- if he wanted, if he wanted to work on it too at the same time, that's as long as you're gonna work towards a good score. Okay, but what if he doesn't? Would it, would it affect your that's choice? That's not something I guess I ask. Okay. The be- in the beginning, like I, I, that's something I probably wouldn't even know, like so far in. Okay, that's fair. What about you? Um, I'm not gonna say that was like a question at the beginning, but now, like my dating preference. I believe they all have good scores. Like we talk about that. That's incorporated in our conversations now. So I'd rather a good score so they can teach me something. I'm younger and I date older a little bit. So, you know. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. What about you? I would say if they're younger then and they're working on it, then I understand. Because when you're younger, you have less on your credit. So you can build it up pretty fast. But do if they're older, older and they have poor credit, younger, then no. Huh? What do you prefer, older or younger? I say slightly older, but not old enough to where they don't get my jokes and like Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Twitter and TikTok references. They need to understand. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. How much older is your current boyfriend than you are? About a year and a half. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's nothing. Cool. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I do prefer them to have a good credit score because I don't want to be the one like with the responsibility all the time to like take things out under my name all the time. Like, mm-hmm. that's, mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good point. I like that. Yeah, I would prefer that they have a good score. Like, yeah, but if if they would, if it was medium and they were trying to get it up, then I'd be like, okay, that's fine. All right, all right. Definitely would have to have a good score if we're trying to be in a serious relationship because I'm eighty seven thousand dollars in debt with the federal government. So what? I can't, you know, put an apartment on my name and get. Oh yeah, it, I pay re- restitution. In the I moment. was gonna say restitution. Yeah. yeah. So what is I, that? I paid a lot. Don't don't get me wrong. I was ninety seven thousand in debt, so I paid ten grand. Do you want me to break it down for them right, real for quick? Her. What that restitution yes, is? Yeah. She was convicted of a crime of fraud, so she defrauded oh, a bunch of people okay. uh, for credit cards and stuff like that. Her and her people, her co defendants. So she has to pay restitution back to the U.S. government for the people that she defrauded. It's a part of her plea agreement. Wow. Yeah. So that hit my credit really bad, and when I went, when I violated my pretrial from the incident with an ex I had. A case I caught violated me. My car got repoed while I was locked up. So that hit my credit too. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, if you really think about it, then damn, actually, that car was 25000 So that means. What the? Wait. I'm over $100,000 in debt. Wait, <laughs> repo How old are you? I'm 26. It doesn't matter. I'm a girl. I'm pretty. Someone's going to pay it. Cool. You can you know get the crazy part of Shayla. No, no. You, Some nigga is going. Someone's you're right, probably though. DMing her right now. You're right. I'll rescue you. I'll you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that's that's the benefit. Like, yo, real talk. I know you. Some of you guys might get mad about that, but this is what I'm trying to say, man. As a man, I talked about this on the Zoom call yesterday. Some guy, you know, I'm not gonna say his name, obviously, but he was talking about, hey, man, I need to really, you know, I don't have the motivation to get myself to work and make money. Like, what should I do? And I had to scream at him and tell him, yo, listen. You're not a pretty girl. No one's going to come and fucking rescue you, bro. Yeah. Like, no one's going to come in and say, oh, I'll help you out and give you a loan or some shit. Like, nobody gives a fuck about your problems as a man, bro. So you can't rely on your looks to get you out. Even the most attractive of men, let's say you're the top 1% of guys being super attractive, you're still more than likely not going to get a sugar mama, bro. And if you do get a sugar mama, she ain't going to give you a $100,000 loan a lot of the time. <laughs> okay? So the chances of that are extremely slim, even if you're a fucking Chad 6'5", looking like Chris Hemsworth. So... It just ain't gonna happen, but um, yeah, Yo, that's a good telltale though. Imagine asking a girl, "What's your credit score?" That tells a lot about a person. It Not does. necessarily Not because necessarily. some people also make mistakes. Like, mm-hmm. okay, one mm-hmm. thing that, but I, I've, I've been paying, I paid that off. But I had my first apartment. I was like nineteen. I became a dancer. I got my first apartment. Got my first car. Mm-hmm. That car's done with, like, paid off, and gone. The apartment, I moved to Canada, I was on some wild shit, I went to Canada, got married in Vegas, and then I was subletting my apartment to this female, and she was pregnant, so I felt bad, you know, she gypped me, she's a pregnant girl with no baby daddy, so I was like, okay, you could stay there, she didn't want to pay rent, so I had my friend and my mom swoop in, take all her shit, destroy it, and kick the bitch out, so at the end of the day, I still got left with the rent thing, because nobody yeah. paid it, so, you know. Doesn't we were actually talking about yeah. that on the last episode, why you should never, ever be ever. Uh, anyone. Uh, co-signed for anything and or make anyone an authorized user on your credit card account because of shit like that. Yeah. Because you become kind of like, uh, you're, you're responsible. Pay, now you're responsible. And now you're in trouble. And the bill collectors will come after you and your credit will take a ding as a, as a matter of fact uh, with that. But um, but yeah, so guys, just, ro- just so you guys understand, like anytime you get convicted of a crime where you like embezzle or there's like a financial angle to it nine out of ten times as a part of your plea agreement the government or the state whoever's prosecuting you is going to go ahead and try to get some money back on it so yeah that's what it is uh you've yeah. asked simonis Fuck spring. 
<laughs> Wait, you're banned from them, right? Yeah, they they press charges on me, and I can't go into any Sprint store. I'm not going to. Sprint is trash anyway, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah trash. Who in here uses a Sprint? Trash ass niggas. Anybody here, here uses Sprint? No. Uh, sprint. Wait, do they even exist anymore? <laughs> I thought they, they got bought out. They got bought out. Team Mobile, right? Team That's why they had to sue because they were so fucking broke. They were getting bought out. They needed that money, but their system was so flawed. That's why the fuck we were able to hack into it. And I could say that because my case is closed, and that's what happened, and we admitted to it. So yeah, mm. fuck you, Sprint. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Chris is always throwing shade at Fresh for uh, his looks. Let's settle this once and for all. Question for the ladies. Who is more attractive in the looks department, Fresh or Chris? Oh, God. Uh, you guys don't have to answer that. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, I'm on the toilet. Do you like that? Okay, great, babe. What the? What? All right. Michael Meester, question for all the ladies. What is your favorite sex position? This is not good, <laughs> do, Are we going to do that? No. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? On top. Okay. On top? Oh, you're... On top? Me? Yes, Miss Music Studio. <laughs> Uh, in the music top. studio? <laughs> on, top. on top. On top? Okay. Okay. Zena? I said on top first. I oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that was quick. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything that involves mirrors, you know? Ooh. Oh, you want to see it? <laughs> I'm a visual person, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait, no, but that's not, that's not a position, though. She She's basically saying any position. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As long as she can look at herself, narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to back that one up. Okay, uh -huh. another narcissist. No, you can't. No, here's here's it's a, a Leo thing. No, no, here <laughs> is a caveat. You can't <laughs> use the same position as somebody else. Roof. Hmm? I mean, you can't use the same. <sighs> if they like it, they like it. I would say. Fuck, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> 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 I would say uh, doggy style. I okay. knew it. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm a pillow princess. Pillow, pillow princess? Yeah, missionary. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about you? What if your yours is the same as someone else? Nah, you need a second one. I mean, but that's my favorite. People have favorites. <laughs> what, what, is it, what is it then? Go Hers is the same. The, the doggy style thing? Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this is the official rating for tonight's episode from Xena on down. Uh, they're giving Xena a one? No, a seven. No, no. seven. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, seven. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> seven one five 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 six three three and you guys want to re respond to that God say damn. fuck you or some shit no um, no i just want to say thank you guys so much <laughs> <laughs> all right can we get like three a three four week, week notice for the party once you guys hit one million yes we will yeah. give y'all uh when we hit I'm like around notice. nine when we hit like around 950 we'll let you guys know yeah. All right. Uh, Dan, so can't even get coffee with a girl unless we plan on marrying her? I don't know, Fresh. We might have to get married again, but this time, let's marry 10 baddies, sign that prenup, and then divorce all of them the next day. <laughs> That's from Fresh's BBC. You have anything you want to say back to your dick? Bro, who are you, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the therm mum okay whatever <laughs> gotta keep the 22 year old honest with math major honest please give a brief explanation of symmetry species slash group theory you don't have to do that i didn't take that kind of math <laughs> <laughs> um, i took three levels of calculus i took um like a i took like stats 250 but that's about it i started off as a bio major okay so switched over when ken started not being math related but yeah the only map don't I know, know anything about that. It's Maybe. how to count money, bro. Did That's you pass it. Orgo without cur getting curved? Your test curved? Um. That's the real question. I didn't take that. No. Oh, you pussy. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't uh, a requirement. It wasn't a requirement. Okay, yeah. yeah. That that's like has like one of the highest failure rates. Organic I did chemistry. not. I did not pass organic chemistry. I will say that. Oh, you you did not. That's where I quit. Uh, oh, so you did take it and you failed. Is that what? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Most people fail organic chemistry in the yeah, beginning. They have to take it twice. It, was, it wasn't that I failed. I saw it for about a week, and I was like, no. Okay, so you quit because I was like... This isn't for me. <laughs> okay, fair. Uh, to the women from Texas, what's your opinion on men in Miami versus Texas? So Ooh, I guess that's, that's, that's for the three ladies here on the panel. We can start with uh, Miss Camouflage. Pammy, um, where is she? I haven't really met a lot of... I just got here today, so I haven't... I've never been to Miami before, okay. so I haven't met a lot of Miami Did men. you bring your boyfriend with you on this trip? No, I did not. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Are you a Miami? <laughs> he works. He's at work. He's a what? Uh, he's at work. He's he occupied. Work. Oh, he's working? He's yeah. occupied. Okay, he so you tried to here. bring him with you and he said no. No, but he probably wouldn't have wanted to go anyway. I mean... Okay. All right. I mean, what happens in Miami? Stays in Miami. No. All right. <laughs> what about you? What was the question again? I'm sorry. Uh, what is the difference between uh, Miami men versus men from Texas? Um, Again, like she was saying, I haven't met too many men in... Houston. I, I live in Dallas currently. And okay. I'm from Miami. Every, okay. But um, but yeah, Florida people are just always a different breed. Okay. Go ahead. Describe. 
Um, so where are you going to take offense? I, I work on flights <clears throat> okay. a lot. And those are usually the flights where something goes wrong. <laughs> uh, someone is having some kind of meltdown. Or some couple is very upset that they're not sitting together. It's, it's always something, you know. Okay. So they're crazy, basically. It's like what you see in the news. <laughs> wow. You know, they migrate here. They sure, you know be that, nice. You know that trend yeah, that went around nice. where it was like, Google your birthday and then Google Florida man. <laughs> that's that's okay. the vibe that Florida people oh. give off to me. We got you. But I think they're fun. I think Texas people are fun too. But I'm from California originally, so okay, we're a little more judgmental. Okay. Little? That's an understatement. Well, I mean, <laughs> people from Florida in general, I'll be honest, are stupider and and uh, no, <laughs> and ruder. They come from up north, and then they come here and be stupid. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of locals I've met are retarded, but that's just me, especially here in Miami. But that's a whole other uh, I think thing. The heat can make you go crazy anywhere. <sighs> Their brain melts. Yeah. No. I mean, whatever just happened to people being stupid? I mean, why do we give people so many goddamn <laughs> excuses for being stupid? Like, I look at it like, yo, we, you know, we have all these like things like, oh, well, I have ADD or I have this or, oh, yo, you got to understand I have like, uh, you know, uh, an inability to pay attention when people are giving me information. I have, it, they have to explain to me in a certain way, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, what about you're just fucking dumb? What about that? I think. Why don't we call people stupid anymore? My opinion is people here are kind of shady, kind of fake, two-faced. They'll. <laughs> laugh in your face, everywhere. smile in your face, and then no. Nah, but here's like a different like story because people dap you up, talk shit about you right after you leave. It's, it's crazy, well, man. That's you attract who you are because you guys are attacking Miami people. Nah, Miami man. is not Florida. It's nah. true. They'll be friends can, with you for years. I can take my feelings the whole time. I can take feelings out of it and just be like, totally organic and re realistic. That happens all the time in Miami. I think like the main difference. The thing is, the fun shit that's going on in Miami is all the tourists. That's that's yeah. where we're partying and all that. That's the fun stuff. The actual locals. I'm from up north. I'm not stupid. I'm not. I mean, I'm a little crazy, but I'm not Florida crazy. L I crazy? didn't catch my first charge until I came to Florida and started hanging out with Florida locals. So I'm mm. blaming the Floridians. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. y'all love it here. Uh, y'all here right now. I think the main difference between Texas guys and my, and I guess Florida or Miami guys, mm -hmm. Miami guys are way more attractive. Okay, Texas, Houston has Fair. no attractive guys <laughs> at all. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that's the main for me, and then also Houston guys are more like <coughs> Southern gentlemen, like softer, you know. Yeah. Miami guys are too like. Um, flashy you know too like arrogant maybe i don't know it's just different yeah okay. i mean uh i mean that's in general with texas i mean people are just fatter there yeah. texas is one of the fattest states united states and then yo i um, saw the buffets there no wonder why yeah the, the yeah, barbecue yeah. buffets my like, god damn. Real in texas man i think if i'm not mistaken san antonio is the fattest city in the united states um and then you know dallas is another i think in the top 10 as well so damn. yeah I, I i lived in texas for four years so uh, texas i mean it's a great state if i wasn't here in florida i would be in texas i think it's a better state overall than florida right. but um yeah the women are fatter and it's not they're not as many attractive women but that's just in miami in general like it's very competitive here you know you got a lot of attractive people you got guys with money whatever so if a dude is ugly and he lives in miami you're probably gonna have some money so it's one of the two or is capping one of the two yeah uh jbx so the women from texas oh, what's oh no read that one official ratings from iron on down from final drive production okay so give me xena seven starting there three five three three four, four. and you guys want to say anything back to final drive productions no I I'm Thank one you. Point better. What was that? Go ahead. One point better, so like, it's okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, ladies, can you describe your worst and best sex experience? Describe how you met them, and do you still talk to them today? <laughs> you want to go around the table on that one? <laughs> we'll start here. Um, I'm gonna pass on it only because I really don't have like a a crazy story by any means. Well, it's not about being crazy. It's about the or best like one. Even uh... the best. Oh, she's just saying her boyfriend right now is mediocre. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, whack. I'm not saying that at all. Oh, I would have said my boyfriend, son. Left him home. Damn. You could just easily yeah. be like, yeah, my boyfriend. Yeah, my boyfriend. He was the best by far. He rocked my socks off. I, okay, I second that. There you go. Bruh. That's what I said. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, nigga, if you're watching, uh, yeah. that's a lot luster. <laughs> you're, uh, she's here in Miami by herself, too. Your spot is not secured, uh, my friend. <laughs> it's secured. Uh, what, what was that? I said it's secured. Yeah, it, it's secured. Okay. For now. So. Uh, what about you? Nobody watching. Um. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, "Hold nobody watching." Say your chest. Yeah, just, just say the best. You don't got to say his name or nothing. No, no, very I'm easy. not gonna yeah. say no name. I'm just saying like people just be in your business. But um, the the worst one was where he was he was blessed and he just didn't know what to do with it. Like I did not make a sound and he was like where I should have been 
screaming and it was not nothing and he's like you didn't like it huh and i had to teach him wow like oh, and i was fairly oh, new to the game my God. so you know Wait. my best one where you know i so, had my first orgasm so question um how would you teach a guy how to have better sex with you um, that's when you get on top of you right and you get what you need out of that. Uh, <laughs> okay, fair. I mean, that's just what it is. I'm not going to hold your hips like I'm riding or something like you need to teach me, but I'm going to do what I need to do and then send you by your way. So okay, let me answer this. Sure. After that experience, did you talk to him again? We were cool, but it just never was consistent. Like he'll reach out and I'd be like, okay, because we went on nice dates. Oh, huh? they paid. I'm a sucker for a date. It's not paying. I didn't care about money then. I don't care about money now. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What about you? I will say I'm with the best of the best. That's and right. Fuck everything before that. What's the Period. worst? You're a flight. You're a flight attendant. You She's got out some stories. Part of the Fifty mile high <laughs> club or whatever. No, actually, I'm a new flight attendant. Oh, okay. new? Well, yeah, I've been. Not yet. You know. Hold on. So, so you travel though. Mm-hmm. So you never stopped at a location like Mexico. Honestly, you got off. No, I mean I've I've been I've stayed overnight in many countries, many places, but. Any fun stories? Fun stories? Um, snuck into zoos in Costa Rica. <laughs> that was fun. How was that? Um, I've been to, I was telling them before, I've, I've been to Panama City. That was really dope. Um, where else have I been? Mm, we, interesting. We a, a lot of women lot. Don't, don't, don't talk about Pan. Like, it's I guys love... that like South America. What I've realized is like, mo- girls don't like South America, but mm. guys yeah. love it. South but, America is scary to travel as a woman alone, and yeah. I'm usually it's alone dangerous. while, you know, because you don't always want to go out with your crew and whoever else, but um, <laughs> I did have, I did think Panama City was very beautiful Okay, compared to other places in uh, South America I've been, I've been in Brazil, um, but yeah, I usually go on weekdays because I take weekends off, so there's uh, nothing too fun that goes on, but I go to a lot of like cool like rooftop places there. I'm not going to lie, you being alone and white, they'll probably kidnap your ass. I know, you know, I used to be blonde and I dyed my hair. I'm a natural blonde. I dyed my hair dark before I became a flight attendant so I'd be less valuable in other countries. Wow. Oh. You're, that you know? was easy. Okay. Okay, but listen, like in like take and they want the blonde girl because she's worth more money. Bro, girls really be watching the fucking thing saying it's real, bro. Like, this is hilarious. <laughs> it is real. I mean, it's what's not, happening yo, today? Getting kidnapped is not as common as you think it is. I'm telling oh. you. It's Unless not. you live in Houston. I beg to differ. <laughs> Houston? I had three Amber Alerts on my phone this morning. Oh. I say for kids, definitely a lot more of a chance. I mean, there's like hundreds of kids that go missing through like the foster care system, like every month. Yeah, but as a grown adult, man, the, ch- the, the chances, like the probabilities of you getting kidnapped are st- still very slim. A lot of women watch way too much crime drama yeah. and think that it's extremely <laughs> common, and it's not. I had two, two, like two, two, two kidnapping attempts. I like the concept, though, of, of being not blonde, because uh, <laughs> let's, let's think of it from a sexual standpoint. Most oh. guys want a hot blonde. If you're not blonde... You, you probably won't be like the top pick. Yeah, you get less attention. Yeah, but you still get picked up regardless. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you did, you can never be too safe though. Like, no, I mean, like, of paranoid. course, exercise some 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 safety, but you know, it's like, not as I common. I feel like this was the ambush. Merch. Some I'm people here. like people. Black what? what was the ambush here? Because the girl who invited me is in here, so I'm just like, where I'm coming to? No, she uh, mm-hmm. sources for us. Oh, okay, but she yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a podcast with almost six thousand people watching live. We'd be the dumbest criminals ever to kidnap I just you. Didn't live know what I was walking into. I mean, you should ask questions, but <laughs> I would say you want to be like you want to say that it's on your head, but that stuff does happen, and I've run into a lot of stuff mm-hmm. in other countries. That yeah, I mean, in a foreign country is different. I'm talking about the United States. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Panama City, I will say, very interesting. I, I went, I went there for a case. Um, couple years back uh back in like i think at end of 2019 and uh i was at this bar and it was weird because the girls had to pay to get in and uh my coworker was like yo you need to come to the spot bro it's fucking lit i was like, all right so it's like a cigar bar and the girls had to pay to get in 10 bucks and they had to get a wristband i was like wait the guy's getting it for free he's like yeah i was like what the fuck then i sat down and i realized all the girls were standing walking around in a fucking circle and I was like, what the hell is this? And he was like, oh, yeah, they're all prostitutes. They're, they can't sit down unless a guy lets them sit down at the fucking table. What? And I was like, what the hell? And All right, this is the kidnapping. Let's the, go. The, we out here. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. No, I, it's an ambush. No, no. What? There you go. Are you know? Okay. <laughs> Live on air. And uh, Chris, that was a, okay. Well, I mean, that was uh okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. But uh, anyway, um, what was I going to say? 
Panama. So yeah, so I thought it was very interesting because I was like, holy shit, this is weird because like the dating dynamics completely flipped. Like the guys were the one that the women were pursuing, and they were fucking aggressive, man. Um, I never paid for a box before, but it was strange. I I will, you know, I, they're like, oh yeah, no, baby, come with me. I was like, nah, bro, I'm not paying you for box. Like this is <laughs> this is strange. I'm I'm good. You survived. Yeah, I survived, but it was it was a very interesting uh dynamic to see what it was like to be like a girl for once mm. so it was it was yeah but this is why so many girls like don't like south america so that's that's what i'm saying like a lot of guys go to colombia panama city whatever maybe mm -hmm. and you don't really see western women in these places traveling because i i know girls that went to colombia and like guys will wait by elevators or wait but like you know their their apartments that they're renting and just like being goes three or four pick them up and then can them like it, it is wild bro for girls to travel alone so you're you're brave because god yeah, damn yeah, yeah yeah it's not really in a woman's bed there's no choice. w for you as a woman traveling to south no. america bro at least dudes go down there to get laid like for chicks it's like i don't know why you're down there why are you there <laughs> yeah you know okay. uh what about right, you cool. um did he say best or worst story yeah best or worst okay yeah so my worst story was that i'm a thousand percent sure that this guy was a virgin <laughs> and it was horrible it was the worst that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> okay. I'm right. sure he was a virgin. What what gave the tips away that uh that he was a vir that he was virgin? What gave it away? <laughs> because he was like flopping like a fish. Like what? there was no hip movement. He was just flopping. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, horrible. He was, go, he was going like this on you the whole time. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? What? It was what? horrible. Yes, that's all I'm gonna say. Bruh. So what did you say? Like, did you say okay? Um, I'm just gonna head out, bro. Yeah. Did you let him finish? Yeah, you know she did. <laughs> Barely. Like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. God damn. All right. But he was a nice guy. He was a what? He was a nice guy. Good boy. Oh, you good gave him a nice Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You gave him a chance. Did you ever talk to him again after that? No. This is why you don't be a nice guy, guys. <laughs> no, he sucked. It was not because he was not. I guarantee like if he that. sucked, but he said, "Hey, bitch, you like that?" You would be like, "Oh, damn." <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're a pussy, but you know what? No, I would give him a second him chance. You too bold. <laughs> Calm down. I know you ain't talking, Miss Ambush. <laughs> uh, you, you can't even pick where you want to go. The word being worried about ambush. I try to tell us that you hey, can exercise listen. discretion with that. Come on. Hey, listen. Uh, okay, what about you? Uh, Beth, I don't know you got a story or two. Okay, my worst. There's a lot of worst. Okay. Top two. Um, Give us the top. Yeah. I guess the worst of worst is like, I remember when somebody went, they had their like elbow and they, they were like on my chest, like doing it, but like with their elbow on my chest and it like left a bruise. What? <laughs> he tried to kill you. Elbow in your chest? Yes. Sir. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> and was just like, yeah, you like that? Yeah. 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 You like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else besides the elbow? Throw on the bows? Um, just like really small, like tampon size. <laughs> tampon size? <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> Could you imagine a nigga listening to a nook if you buck while smashing her? Yeah, yeah, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> what nook? <laughs> All right, what about uh, what about you, Zena? <laughs> Tap plus size. Best so, and worst. Okay, so the best was I linked up with this really really hot guy in California. Okay. Really good vibe. Shit was amazing. Chemistry, all of that. Like, the room was on fire. Like, it was the best sex of my life. Don't care. Okay, I was gonna ask, um, was the room really on fire? Okay. No, the room was on. <laughs> That bitch was on fire. Did a firefighter know. show up? <laughs> okay. Wow. Bye. That room was on fire. That's all I'm gonna say. That okay. shit was amazing. Mm -hmm. It didn't last too long. <laughs> but then again, I was giving like really crazy head because I don't like to suck dick. But like, I was kind of broken. I was broken up with my ex at that time too. So I was like, oh, does he I'm know this? Go in. And yeah, he know. Oh, Fuck sure. that nigga. Okay. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go in this thing of my dreams. So anyway, I went in. I, I was also kind of sort of drunk, and I don't drink like that. But I went, yeah, I went crazy. It was the best dick of my life. And I don't really care for sex like that. So that means a lot. Worst was with my ex, and he was off of Molly. and Oh, he was on the come down. Uh, I don't know. But one time, like, it was just... <laughs> 
It was just, you know, when that bitch is soft and they're trying to smush it in you somehow and it's like, that's not going to work, buddy. And you're trying to go to sleep and they're just so determined to where you fall asleep while they're still going at it, trying to get it to fit. And you're just like, I'm going to sleep. That I'm not doing this. <laughs> so it was the right. worst. And then I woke up with, you know, shit all. Ugh, it was disgusting. It was just the absolute worst. Wait, and then he wanted to again. Wanna because, busted a nut? Uh, somehow while I was sleeping <laughs> so by the time we woke like I woke up and he wanted to do it again <laughs> now it could actually get hard so I was like let me get my fucking nut at this point so I had to get on top and you know whatever what alright yeah. uh, uh, fuck this shit I'm gonna bust yeah. a nut anyway <laughs> <laughs> alright but I had a worse long before then too and same thing except it was my other ex I only have two exes and he was off a of coke or some shit I don't know but it was that like trying to smush a fucking short piece Guys. in me so you know when it's already small when it's hard but when it's soft, it's like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Don't do drugs, kids. There you go. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is why it's important to go to the gym and take care of yourself and stay in shape. And then they'd be like, "Oh, play with my butthole." What? What? <laughs> it's going Let me stop. What? Yo. Because I could really do it. Shit, I'm out. Yo. Okay. Right. I I have the video. Oh I'll shit. Put this blue vibrator. You know, like you girls know the little blue vibrator. All right, the little uh, quick one. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, okay, let's move on. All right, let's move on. more chats. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, well, she clearly easily made up for all the other girls' terrible stories. Uh, Samson, <laughs> Adele, worse for Adele, me, Adele uh, I have a visualization. <laughs> You she, know what I'm She's a storyteller. About. I'm a visualization of it. It's grosser for me. Because you know who yeah, I am. Ew. Oh. Okay, Samson goes, I see you, Myron, with the veins. You've been working out. Pause. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I've been going a little harder with the gym. Psych goes, get comedian Theo Vaughn on here. I don't know who that is. Uh, Lord Ill. What's up, fellow? Suggestion. Can we get a show where delusional women come back like how Quantum and Subway Karen did and do a reaction video on their previous visit <laughs> on what they learned from watching themselves? That would be hilarious, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, because here's the thing with Quantum. She watched the show back. She messaged me. She's like, dude. Yeah, no, that was bad. You know, some girls actually watch the show back and like, yo, th this was not good. So, you know, it happens. Uh, Official Apocalypse uh, Phoenix goes, can Pinky smell spell credit? I think he's talking about uh, you, Miss Music Artist. Uh, can you spell credit? Even though it's right there. -D -I -T. That wasn't very smart for you, my friend. Uh, last <laughs> thoughts goes five bucks. Fresh, did you hear Sharp uh, No Jumper call out? Seems like he wants to be on the show. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I saw a video where AD and um, Sharp mentioned uh, coming on the show doing like a game off. Okay. But uh, a game off? Yeah, like who has more game? What? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> who has more game? Of, like for I'm what? Confused. How do we even do this game off? We bring girls in. We we spit game. On camera? Yeah. <laughs> like in the studio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The only way you could do uh, like a legitimate game off is you would have to go out to like a club or a bar or some kind and of they venue. Can't, they can't know. And then cold approach and like just see who gets the most like. And, uh, I mean, I guess you could use numbers as a metrics, but who actually sets up the most dates? That's the best way to actually do it. Well, I mean, to be quite fair, if they're going against me, I, use, I got Instagram, so they can't be me on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a finesse right there. Yeah. So I mean, that's the only way. But see, they would want to be able to verify. So I mean, that's the only way you actually would really be able to game off. Like, what if we had? I get it. What? We get the most money girls to show up without paying. As in like, we set up dates, but they gotta show up here. Who, whoever has the most girls wins. As in like, for example, you set up multiple dates, you tell them to meet here at the same time. So whoever has the most dates wins. But that show up. how would you know if uh, like they're not getting paid though? Oh yeah, you're right. How that would you know? So yeah. Corny. Yeah, that it's just a strange proposition. Yeah, I don't know. This game off. I'm trying to make it make, I don't make sense, but, but I don't the only know. thing I could think of is that the only way it would be natural and organic is you both you all go to a, it's the same venue and you all talk to girls and see who gets the most um, closes as far as like girls that are like gonna want to go on a date. I won't even go off number closes because that's bullshit. It would be who wants to who sets up the most dates for the following day or like the following two days. That's fair. That I think that would be the best way to compare it. But I mean that's a strange <laughs> proposition. <laughs> but no shout out to those guys over there. No jumper. Uh shout out to FNF crew. This money Monday was fire. Keep with the good work. We got y'all, baby. You know, people need to watch those Money Mondays episodes more, man, because we literally if you guys watch that Money Mondays, we teach you guys how to become millionaires. Really good. Uh chicken and waffles. Disregard female uh, females acquire aesthetics. Uh reject mediocre, embrace masculinity. We're all gonna make it bros. The legacy lives on forever, glory disease. Yo, shout out to you, man. Uh got and then from this point forward, we're gonna read twenty and up, guys. Yep. I'll read the rest of these chats. Uh, but 
Uh, we got to get into the topic. So, guy X photo five bucks. Thank you so much. And then he goes again. Every girl that sits in the seat, pink hair girl is in always talks hella slow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fresh BBC again. We can't take girls on dates anymore, but I still got to get mine. Shorty next to Fresh. We can't feed you, but I can guarantee you that I will show you a good time. Ditch your Texas friends and come hang with a real one. We love girls with bad credit. <laughs> you have anything you want to say back to Fresh's penis? Just think of bro. What the fuck? Don't, don't respond to that. Uh, no? Okay. Uh, Dalton McDaniel. Uh, seems like a group of women appreciates the whole Fresh Fit. Uh, seems like a great group of women. Appreciate the whole Fresh Fit crew. Keep up the amazing work, guys. All right, thank you. Yep. Realistic ratings. Damn, man. Y'all really love Rain the Girls. He goes, realistic ratings for tonight starting from Myron. Seven, three, five, six, seven, six. Zena would be an eight if it wasn't for the, sh the shank in her bra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing one. Okay, there you go. Whoa. Uh, the lower her credit score, the higher her body count. Oh, what the shit. Fuck? Million dollar president. Martin and Zena would actually make a good couple. You guys really want... Man. <laughs> Nick Lovin goes, yo, Zena Gaines looking good right now. Uh -oh. Okay. See, I knew they were going to say this, man. Uh, shout out from New York. Been here since 100K. I will provide value in return to you guys, FNF gang. Thank you so much. Shout out to you, bro. Hi, FNF 18. I want to grind through your Money Monday playlist. Any tips, concerns, or advice on studying the content? I know action is just as important. Keep it up, Mo. Fresh. Uh, keep it up, Mo, Chris, Fresh, and Myron. Just apply the shit, man. It doesn't matter if you get the advice if you don't apply it. And then these are the last one. I think five here or six. Myron, are you the one who arrested the plea bargain chick? Just wondering. No. Uh, it was Secret Service that got you, right? Oh, they're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They they were talking. Yeah. What I said? Oh yeah, it was Secret Service. Yeah, it was Secret Service. Was okay. It was two. It was three Secret Service agents. There was Special Agent Waters, who was the Tom Cruise motherfucker with blonde hair. He was fine as fuck. I tried to get coffee with him, but you know, never followed up because I, I went <laughs> I went away. But um, he did he did reasons. agree he did he did agree to the coffee though. So you know who you is. And then there was this fat one. Uh, no disrespect, but I mean, you can't arrest me for calling you fat. Um, <laughs> Special Agent Mosby or whatever. He was the dick one. And then the other one was just kind of like ghost. He just stood there like. With his glasses on it was really cliche but yeah i faked a seizure on the floor thinking that meant i wouldn't get arrested big oh, yeah, my doesn't... mom yeah you, you saw that no 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 no. Oh. Um, <laughs> no what i'm what i'm willing to bet is uh because because it was so it's kind of funny because uh as you guys know i worked for homeland security investigations we had a, a retail fraud crew and it was a task force and there was secret service attached to it so i wouldn't be surprised if those guys weren't the ones that went and picked up Xena, uh, because <laughs> credit card fraud is uh, is a big part of like you know it's it's what the retail fraud task force actually well, does. It wasn't credit cards. Or was, uh, defrauding, uh, well, yeah. not credit cards, but even you know anything that has to do with like defrauding. It was socials and getting into the Sprint system and having the Sprint people's pin, and then just set up an account like with your information, yeah. and then put me on as authorized user. G general financial fraud, uh. yeah, is is de what they investigate. Uh, I mean, retail fraud is the name of the task force, it, but they they deal with anything. How did that... they catch y'all? They ain't catch me on the credit card, and no, I'm fucking with y'all. <laughs> Uh, how, how um, do they what? I guess when I stopped, um, well, I stopped early, so I did get, I did get, you know, I did get recognition for that whatever that means like they uh, I, I don't know but acceptance anyway, of responsibility yeah i stopped within like i did it for like two three weeks and i was like this is bogus i'm gonna just dance and then because like I, I hated having to dress up fake a story to go and they're like oh my family's from puerto rico i need eight iphones like they're moving now it was so fucking weird like you could tell when they're looking at you like bitch you is fraud <laughs> like that shit was awkward but when i quit my co-defendants they I mean, I don't know. They kept going. They're Nicaragua. They're Hispanic. So, you know, they're greedy about money and like they just somebody snitched. I read the case. They was doing all of that. Like, we all snitched on everybody. We said, yeah, we did. It. Okay. So you well, there was like on one yourself, main right? one when I was reading through it. Really? There was like one that like really like implicate. Well, that's a whole other. Oh, damn. About that. I don't know because I know that we um all pled out. So I think no one person wanted to go to trial. I don't I don't know who it was because I never met the person until we were like doing our plea some black dude who was already on ankle monitor for some other case and had three other cases i don't know but apparently he wanted to go to trial like he kept saying he wanted to go to trial or some shit i, was, I don't know who the fuck he was never met him but there was people on there that i never even met i'm like where the fuck is the people that i did meet but i obviously they're not arrested because i didn't name them but i i know that pissed me the fuck off because my co-defendant did say like i was her partner that's what they told me i don't know if she actually said it. i don't really give a fuck i did my time but i was apparently her partner and then there was some well, you can read the discovery yeah, you I have read, my discovery and yeah. I read it and like you can read was, their their reports and it'll tell you what she said. You have a lot yeah. going on. Yeah, so I'm I'm not saying she was snitching on me or anything, but 
I know that there were certain people that should have been on that case that was not on the case. Four people that I know were not on that case and didn't do time. So I was just like, you know what? They probably want to pick them up afterwards, though. No, they never got on that case well, at all. You're not going to know that. They never did time, none of that. <laughs> you're not going to know that. How, if it's one case? Wouldn't it be on my discovery? <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you about all that. <laughs> oh, okay, about okay. Because about... them bitches was sure living free on Instagram. But, yeah, there's. Um... <laughs> it's very smart sometimes to not make all uh, combine all the investigations into one for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, <laughs> Mangy and T. Hey Fresh, ever thought about blurring? And then, well, there you go. You guys got a little episode of Feta right there. Hey Fresh, ever thought about blurring the girls' faces out to keep them in the vlogs? No, that'll be whack. Yeah. Uh, the mono mix. Facts, if you have a learning disability, which means you can't learn, isn't that what stupid means? I guess so. Uh, H-Town got no attractive guys to disrespect, and that's from Dr. Dr. Mo. Mo. <laughs> Dr. Mo. He, I think he's from Houston. Uh, Fresh BBC, homie, your spot is not secure. Do you know who your, who, who your girl is next to? Oh, okay, he's talking to her boyfriend. Okay. Uh, uh, and then we got, what do you, what's he here? Chris stuttered through the mask. I'm stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said you you get uh, abducted. Uh, so Shorty really got up, pulled up to the spot. So Shorty really got up, pulled up to the spot, signed a waiver, gave her phone up, put those headphones on, introduced herself to the world. They claimed that she got ambushed. Shorty, big stupid, stupid. It was before I pulled up. Uh, <laughs> yo, yeah, the shout chat, to the chat man. Shout out to the chat man. Yo. Hey, on that magic carp nigga, hopefully my boy is Gyarados these days. Okay, 907. And then the last three here, uh, 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 Platano goes, there's definitely that side to Latin AM, but to those of us regular people from the region, those uh, women slash men are degens. We are, for the most part, very Catholic, and morality is important, especially the family structure. Okay? Then we got Scott Aragon, 100 bucks. Shout out to FNF fam. Been a while. Myron looking buff, bro. Two months on the Keno Body Program and down 12% body fat. Good stuff for you, my friend. Thanks for always introducing us men to the best training programs on the market and invest in ourselves. Got you, man. Scott Aragon, 100 uh, bucks. And then Big Mo. Yep. Hey, Chris, you got that? So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Get with the fucking program. All right, Big Mo, gain the mics of gals f for a couple of DBs. Okay. What? Uh, Offy one two one. He's just telling me to turn the mic up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Already on the game. Okay. Okay. So, ladies on the panel, some of you are single, some of you have boyfriends. Give me your take on this. So, if you're a woman, right? You meet a guy, you have that connection. Do you believe in love? And is your love gonna change if they change? So I mean, for example, let's see you meet a guy, you fall for him. Are you gonna love, love him to a fault? Or would you choose your best friend over your guy? So who would you, how loyal are you to your, your guy that you love or your best friend? Real quick. Um, in my current relationship or yeah. just like in general? In general. Um, I think it depends on how much I care about the person that I'm in. Let's say you love, you love your boyfriend. Who would you have loyalty to? Your best friend or, or your boyfriend? How long? And don't cap. Don't cap. I, I'm not sure. Honestly, I really it's don't tough, know how right? I would answer that question. I really don't, honestly. It's tough, right? Yeah. It but is, don't really you love tough. your boyfriend? I love my boyfriend and I love my best friend, you know? Like, how do you? Well, If you had to pick one, who would you pick? Um, Probably my boyfriend, just because, like, I guess you would have to spend the rest of your life with them. That's someone you build a life That's with. That's just your like, boyfriend. Kind of thing. Oh, you guess? <laughs> Nigga, are you watching okay. this? I, I feel forced into an You're answer. You're not married so. yet, but... Um, okay. Yeah. No, no. This is her opinion. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Okay. Um, I actually was in a situation like that, but I was younger. But I was in a controlling relationship. He made me cut my best friend off and stuff like that. But I mean, who's here after the relationship? My best friend is back with me. But um, it just depends on what type of guy it is. I can love him, but if I know he's not headed in the direction that I'm, you know, that we're going to get married and stuff like that. Hold on. My best friend. Let's say you love the guy. Uh huh. Who are you gonna choose? I can love somebody, but don't see a future with them. That's what I'm saying. It depends on like what type of status that we're in. Because I used to like hood guys. If I was with a hood guy, I'm choosing my best friend because you know I. <laughs> yeah. In a few years, I'm, I'm not gonna be at you. <laughs> no, but I'm, I, I've matured. I'm not into those guys anymore. Oh, no so, more Tyrones. No. Stop the cap. Mm -hmm. This is true. The guys I'm dating right now has careers. So you're gonna choose best friend over boyfriend. I don't know. No, best, one or the other. Best Boyfriend friend. or best friend? Who are you choosing? Best friend. Best friend? Okay, cool. What about you? I would say I think both your best friend and your right. boyfriend can burn you at any time. Well, you no. know. Um, 
But in your opinion, if who are you, you going to choose? If you see yourself, if you see someone like being your husband, I would say you always have to pick that person. Mm. At the end of the day. But what about you, though? We're not talking about third perspective. <laughs> third person. What was what the question? Yeah, hard. The question is who you picking, your boyfriend or your best friend? I, I was in this situation with my current boyfriend, and I picked him. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. So you and your best friend are on the outs right now? When I moved, yes. Oh. I, I did cut off a lot of people, but it was for a good reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, I would go with boyfriend. Okay. Even if he flops like a fish? <laughs> he <laughs> wouldn't be my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay. What about you? Um, for me, I would probably choose my boyfriend. Okay. Zena? I guess it <clears throat> I guess it depends on who the boyfriend is. Because, <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything throat. I'm just saying, like, um, previous experiences, I've definitely chosen best friends. Like, Matasha, hands down, bitch got my back no matter what. Um, and my best friend, she passed away, Crystal. Like, I would choose my best friend in a heartbeat because I feel like if, if it comes to the point where you where a man is making you feel like you have to choose, I don't think that that's the man that I want to be with or that's right. right for me because I feel like that's way too controlling in the mm -hmm. sense of alienation to where I'm going to lose myself no, trying to be with you. Um, and I've dealt with that previously. So, yeah. But, you know, for new man, yeah. Sorry, Monty. <laughs> well, Chris says you gotta go, Monty. You gotta go, babe. No, I'm playing. It, it was for a guy and girl best friend. It wasn't like no gender. We didn't. No. We didn't specify yeah, gender. Specific. No, we didn't specify. So, Wait, if we yeah. made it with gender, it would've been harder for y'all. Yeah. So back this way now. If your best friend, that's a girl or a guy, was gonna cheat on their other, would you tell the other that they cheated? No, I'm gonna mind my motherfucking business. Yeah. Okay. So you're low to that extent. You wanna say shit? I'm not involving myself in that drama. Right. Okay. And I don't I even know if I'd want to stay friends with them. Right. You're like, oh my say, gosh, you're wild. Them. You need to calm yeah. down. So you hang on every day for the most part. You know him. You know her. If she was going to cheat, you wouldn't say anything? I'd be like, I'm not it. hanging out with them anymore. They got some other <laughs> shit going on. Okay. I would say no, because then they're, they're going to make up and you're, you just look dumb. Yeah, yeah, not me and my so best friend no. not talking. Hmm. I'll say, I wouldn't say anything, but you have to question their morality to a certain point. Mm -hmm. You gotta know, if someone's doing snake shit next to you, that mm. they, could, they could do it to you. Right. So, keep an eye out. Interesting you know, how, but, these are interesting responses. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't say anything, just because if the foot, if the shoe was on the other foot, you just don't know how things play out. You don't know what they got going on. You don't know, you're not in their bedroom, so... I'm just not going to say something. I am going to say something to her or him personally. Like, hey, why are you tripping like that? Like, he cool. You got him around me. I don't want to seem fake when it do blow up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll give them that. You don't want to get ambushed. Yeah, I'll do that to them. Like, you know, <laughs> I'll give them that respect and tell them respect me too. Like, just don't bring me around no more. Okay. But I'm not telling. All right. I, I agree with her. Like, um, I would give them my honest opinion about how I felt about the situation. And then I would say, but leave me out of it. Like, I don't, I'm not part of that drama. Okay. Facts. So Very interesting. We got a video to play. Okay. Kind of highlights these questions I asked earlier. And Mo, um, you Before got a video. We play this video, uh, guys. Come on over to YouTube. We're gonna kill the uh, Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter stream. Okay, because I don't know if this video is appropriate for these platforms. So come on over to YouTube right now, guys. Type in Fresh and Fit. Uh, we're gonna play this video here in a second. And Mo's gonna give you all the background. Yeah, let's start killing them, Chris. And then we'll turn it to Mo, and Mo will give a little bit of a background on this video. I think this was a supporter sent in yeah. video. Yes. Uh, shout out to all our ninjas. Come on over, guys, to YouTube. Type in Fresh and Fit on YouTube and come catch the stream there. Okay. Um, all right, Mo, go ahead. This is a survey that is asked for all of the uh, women. Would you rather um, um, cheat on your significant other or snitch on your best friend? There we go. All right, let's see how this goes. I saw this. <laughs> your boyfriend. Cheat on your boyfriend. Or snitch on, or your, snitch best on your best friend. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Oh. I'm cheating on my fucking nigga. Oh. I have to snitch on my friend. I'm going to cheat on my boyfriend. My loyalty lies with my boyfriend. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. What? I'm not fucking my best friend because at the end of the day, I'm not fucking my best friend. I'm fucking my girl. You need to tap stupid on that video. Is uh, oh, echo. 
So let me fix it right quickly. Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, so we got to know. All right, chat. Cool. Cheat on your boyfriend or snitch on your best friend? Mm, I'm cheating. I'm, oh, I'm cheating on my nigga. I'm, I'm cheating on my fucking nigga. Oh, what do I have to snitch on my friend. I'm going to cheat on my boyfriend. My loyalty lies in my... Cheat on my boyfriend. <laughs> Bitch, I'm cheating. <laughs> I wasn't like that. I'm cheating, period. We cheat on each other together. Because we do this as a team. What? I ride for my friend. I'm snitching on my best friend because at the end of the day, I'm not fucking my best friend. I'm fucking my girl. I know that's fucking right. I know that's fucking right. Y'all heard him. Do that dance one more time. Show him your mom made a problem. I can't make that decision. No. Alright. Shit on my name. What? Cheat. Oh! Snitch on your best friend. Cheat on my nigga. My bitches come first. Fuck nigga free. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. She belongs to the streets. Wow. God damn. All right. Uh, okay. Thoughts on the video. <laughs> um, like, are we uh, are we answering if we, that's what we would do or not? Well, their sponsors were kind of like shocking is that like normal you think or is that like crazy is i like... think that's shocking too yeah i would probably if it was came down to it i'd probably snitch on my friend okay okay i'm not gonna give my opinion on it i'm just gonna give my opinion on their their responses well, well what would you do snitch on your friend or cheat I, on your I guy i just stated i'm not giving <laughs> no no, no, no we need your opinion <laughs> yeah, snitch need... on your friend or uh cheat on your boyfriend what's cheating to what extent <laughs> sucking dick i'm not Sucks. doing that but i'm not i'm not telling on my best friend though Okay, so she cheat on so her you guy. Cheat, you right. cheat. Okay. What about you? Cheat on your guy. Uh, real quick, we got a cheat on your guy or snitch on your boyfriend. Or no, uh, sorry, cheating on your guy or snitching on your best friend. I would snitch on my friend. Okay. Only okay, I would say if you know both parties involved, like if you're friends with your friend and you're friends with her boyfriend, you have to weigh that out. You know, you have to look out for both. But what of about them. you? We're asking you specifically. I was I was snitching on my friend. Okay. What about Dang. you? Um, I've never cheated and I never will. So I'm snitching on whoever I need to snitch on. My brother, <laughs> okay. my cousin. Goddamn, all right. <laughs> Abuela. Music uh, studio. Um, I would probably snitch on my best friend. But to be honest, every single best friend I've ever had has done immense betrayal against me. So I don't value them as much as I value relationships because Absolutely. I've never had I've never had a relationship and in like where someone cheated on me and I've never cheated on somebody. So yeah, I would just break up with them if I didn't like them. Okay. All right. Well, that Zena's was... thinking hard. No, it's not a hard decision. I'm not a cheater. I don't fuck with that. But I'm, I was thinking if I was in my previous relationship, I would cheat every day if I had the chance. But the that's not me. So, you know, I didn't cheat. But in a new relationship, I still won't cheat. I, I don't know. I just snitching I think on that's, your friend. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Montasia, she's snitching on Be, you, bro. My, my, and guess what? And Monty still gonna hold it down. Like, girl, I know you did what you had to do. Because guess what? Monty would snitch on me for if she was with a nigga. We're her nigga. Like this is <laughs> hypothetical. Right. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Uh, all right. So now, now we can actually get your thoughts on the video. <laughs> you already answered. What about you? What are your thoughts on the video? Um, it was very wild. The amount of women that just cheat, that just said cheat. But me and my best friend, me and my girl best friend, had a conversation about the video. Mm -hmm. You know, we both stay solid we said we're going to stay solid but you just never really know because i'm not i'm not a cheater i've been cheated on i don't know the, i don't like the feeling but i just what can't constitutes fight. cheating for you though that's the real question you know um i was pretty lenient when i was in my relationship <laughs> you know no, 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 i know what constitutes cheating <laughs> for, for you? you oh for me yeah cheating is is really engaging in a real like conversation with with the guy like you know because it's like what you talking about? Okay. what you gotta talk about. So 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 him. you speaking with another guy in that context. In a depth, yeah, of where you know he feel comfortable calling my phone at any time and okay. texting me at like you know. What about open sexuality? Putting yourself out there in a certain way. Girls nights out, dressing provocatively, um, sexy pictures of yourself all over the internet. Would you consider trips. that cheating? I'm I'm not into that. So but, but I, would you consider that cheating? No. Okay. Interesting. But my my ex boyfriend did throw an outfit in the garbage. He told me two years later because it was too revealing. Yeah. So interesting I mean, how what men think is cheating versus what women think is cheating are two different things. Yeah. Once a woman puts herself out there, like you know, for sale, for sale, like dressing, you feel like that's cheating. Hundred percent, it is. That's not even. I feel like it is, because men and women are different. I mean, my nigga, my nigga hype me up. The, the guy I'm dating right now, he hypes me up. He don't care what I got on, like 
Hey, you look the fuck good. So, I mean, you just, I feel like that's the level of, you He know, tells you that because he's having sex with other girls and you're not yeah. his main chick. That's hey, why he's telling you that. I'm dating. I don't go with nobody. Yeah, yeah. So, but, hey. But, but that's what I'm trying to say. Do yeah, you, do, boo. Here, 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 let me give you ladies some game real quick. Once a guy starts like telling you, yo, I don't like that when you wear this shit or yo, you need to start taking these pictures down. Now he actually gives a fuck about you. See, but I don't, I don't dress revealing like I, like I stated. So I just, it's never going to be to that point. I don't like wearing shorts. You feel like this revealing, you know, but I, I'm dating, but I don't, I, I know how to be respectful in a relationship. No, I'm know, not going to do that. But, but that's what I'm trying to say. I always find it interesting how, like when I say what women think is cheating mm -hmm. versus what, what men are, think are, is cheating is, are two different things. Just so that that's how you know, like you say, men, men aren't going to be honest about it though. Right. They're never going to tell you, yo, you're dressed like a fucking hoe. I don't like this. They're just going to let you do it. And then one of two things, either they don't have the boss to tell you, I don't like this, or they're just not going to take you serious. That's facts. Though. One of the two. That's facts. So I can agree. Yeah. Right. Uh, fair enough. Uh, what are your thoughts on the video? On the video, I would I would say the same. Like I'm surprised to see how many women would cheat because I think cheating is karmic, and it might not happen in that. What is it? Karmic? Yeah, like karmatic. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, or like karma. Karma. Yeah. Yeah. Karma. Karma induced. Karmatic. I feel like when you're March. putting out, like you're gonna get back. So it's okay. just like at some point, either you're going to be cheated on by that person, or sometime in the future, you're not gonna be. You're going right. to be in a happy relationship. You're going to get cheated on anyway. So Okay. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? So I think that women in general do not really think about their the logistics of their decisions, meaning that women are willing to sacrifice someone providing for them and protecting them over, like, their best friend. And that's why they end up, like, 40 at the club with their best friend <laughs> single. Like, <laughs> you know, I would prioritize a man that's actually doing something for me, you know, right. over my best friend that's not, what is she providing for me that, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Okay. All right. Um, I thought that like my comment on the video would be that I was very shocked, but also not really shocked because nowadays like everybody's in hookup culture and like they think it's cool to cheat and they think it's like cool to use men for money and stuff like that. So I wasn't really shocked because they were like, yes, girls first. And like, that's kind of like the whole culture right now. So it made sense. Do you think we have a hookup culture right now? Yeah. Yes. I would argue there's a female hookup culture, but there's not a male hookup culture is what I would argue. I would argue that it's the women that are fucking, not the guys. So it's a hookup culture for you guys, but not for a majority of men. For rich and attractive men, that's it's a small a percentage. Culture. That's a very small percentage of men. And then on top of that, there's a lot of these rich, attractive men yeah. that still yeah. can't get girls. That's still struggle. I mean, think about it. Has anyone here ever had a sugar daddy? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's yeah, okay. They don't have to confirm or they deny won't admit it. it. They won't admit it. But the point is, is that I mean, <laughs> you probably know if you had one, or you maybe have a friend that had a sugar daddy or some guy that used to provide money. That guy didn't even fuck a lot of the times, did he? Never saw him. There you go. Bam. So even if you have have money, you still are going to struggle to some degree. So I would argue against there uh, being a hookup culture. I would argue that there's a hookup culture only for women, not for men. And uh, shout out to Rolla. We had a, a discussion on this. Uh, in 2018, there was a study that came out that showed that... Uh, that men were reporting lower levels of sex. And then on top of that, there was another study that came out, I think in 2020, that reported that one in three men is either celibate and or has or is a virgin between 18 and 30. So I mean, even in your personal lives, yeah. Look how many guys hit on y'all on a daily basis. You don't talk to all those guys, you curb most of them. So that alone tells you those guys aren't getting laid from either even you, but you know, they get curbed all the time. So it yeah. happens. I mean, you could be like a, a, a great asset on paper as a guy and a girl will still curve you. Yeah. Like, that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like women curve you for any reason whatsoever. Like you can have all your shit together and still get, take it out. So uh, is there anything else you want to say? I don't know. You're talking about hook, hookup culture and what else? Um, I don't know. That was pretty much the end of my statement. Do I agree with you on the topic of it's just for women? No. Okay. Why do you not agree? The reason that I don't agree is because th there's plenty of men who are players, like, and there's pr plenty of men who are not attractive, who are players, who have no money, and who are like lame and are players and fuck different girls every single day. So to me, I get what you're saying, as in statistics and whatnot, but 
in what I see in the everyday world, to me, I think it's just a hookup culture for everybody, especially if you're on TikTok and you see how young people are nowadays. Well, the reason why your argument is weak is because you're basing reality off of your own perception and interpretation of what you see. The issue is that you got to go out of your own two shoes and observe what's really going on. So what you're talking about, guys that are having sex with multiple girls, social media influencers, influencers on TikTok or whatever, you got to understand that this is not uh, accurate representation of men overall. So even though you may, because the thing is too, you're in the music industry, right? Yeah. And you're an influencer, right? Yeah. So you do realize that most guys don't even have a social media profile and or are not involved in music and or are not high earners, correct? Yeah, I guess I'm so, just not in the real world. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you, based off your lifestyle alone, you only deal with a very small mi uh, minority of men. So, uh, you're, I guess, how do I say? It? It's the apex fallacy. You know, like a girl that's very attractive, like a model that deals with only athletes or sees celebs or whatever it may be, she's gonna think all men are like that. But the yeah. reality is, no, only a very small percentage of men that you personally deal with in your lifestyle is are like that. The reality is a majority of men are not like that. It's just that my argument is that most women don't see most men. Yeah. Most men are virtually invisible to most women because if a guy doesn't meet a certain look requirement, height requirement, whatever it may be, you ain't going to remember him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, oh, what the fuck? And we, just off of like, just us being in Miami, you know, we know a couple of guys that are virgins. Yeah. I don't know many girls that are virgins. Here. I don't know. No chick that's a virgin. But I know plenty of guys that are virgins in their 30s. You know, so and it starts back it up too because yeah. that's tell you. So yeah. so so it's not hard for women to get sex, but it's very difficult for most guys to get sex. That's now true. and let's be fair, that's women true, choose though. who I they want to fuck. Guys fuck who they can. I if they I can. do agree with that. Like guys, like sometimes will just like fuck anything, like a really ugly girl, and even if they had like a really pretty girlfriend before, just because they haven't been able to have sex in a while, they'll fuck like a really ugly, like dusty bitch. <laughs> oh, <God damn. laughs> I think they do that because it's easy and they won't catch feelings for that person, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is why they do no, it. No, it's because it's biological urge. Just like you Must want a guy not. that's taller well, yeah. and more attractive, and you want to get security with that guy. Men want to have sex with as many girls as they can. It just busting up. We're we're just, we're very different in our mating strategies. Like women want the best, men want the most. Quantity versus quality. So, and the unfortunate reality is most men aren't in a position to be able to get the quantity that they actually desire. Only a very small percentage of men can do it. And I think this is the funny part is that women take that small percentage of men and think that's an accurate representation of all guys. But the reality is that's not all guys at all. Most dudes are nice, very simple, want a girlfriend. And those are the guys that women pass up and say, oh, you're boring, or you just don't do it for me, or the you're chemistry nice. isn't there. Whatever bullshit excuse they want to the use vibe because isn't the guy's there. boring. Yeah. There's no vibe. You know, there's no excitement. He's so. like a fish. He's not yeah, a hooker. Like <laughs> Wait, you know but it, why, why are they not getting laid if all they want is quantity, though? Because women are extremely selective. Yeah. You could say even... If they take it a few notches down, though? Most women are not going to settle. Uh, uh, from... How many women have we interviewed on the show right now, Mo? With 1,374. 1,374. Okay, so we've interviewed 1,374 women on the show, different women. And from the body of interviews, what I've come to realize is that most women have a delusional perspective of where they stand as far as their own market value goes, is what type of guy that they think they deserve. And a lot of girls, when I ask them, what do you want? They typically describe a man that's in the top 1%, $100,000 per year, six foot tall, attractive, in shape, et cetera. And unfortunately, this guy isn't like in the top two or three percent of men and it's very hard to, to find him you and every other girl is looking for this guy so what what makes you think he's going to pick you of all the girls that are coming to him and then they'll say some dumb shit like my personality or i'm special or i'm really cool like all these intangible traits that quite frankly can be found in other women so um typically it's over uh, a sense of over inflation in their own value which is why so many women are very selective on the guys because i've even if you take like the biggest hoe like the biggest promiscuous woman she's still going to have discernment to a level where she's going to still exclude 95% of men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From, from, from sexual access to her, even if she's a big asshole, she's going to be like, you know what? I only deal with like, no offense to Selena Powell. Let's like, we'll use her for example, even though she's very promiscuous and had sex, with a lot of dudes, she only had sex with men in what that top 2%, top 1% of men. So yes, she's a hoe. Yes. She's promiscuous on paper. However, she's still selective. So this is why most guys can't get sex because even the biggest hoes are still fighting for that top 1% of men. So do women, sh should women lower their standards or should men like rise up? 
Well, men don't have the option to, uh, they don't have the leverage to to raise their standards unless they're at a high level. So, I mean, like, rise up us and, like, be better so we can, (laughs) so they can qualify or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think it's both parties. So the men have to become better, right? We we talk about this on Money Mondays, whatever. Guys got to get their shit together. But at the same time, a lot of women got to understand that you don't qualify for a high value man. You're an average woman, which means you deserve a high, an average man. But a lot of women are not going to settle. Most girls actually have come on the show. I'd rather die than average with a, uh, than settle down with average guy. I'll have a dog and cat and yeah. stay alone. Because yeah. average man, if we put it on paper, five foot eight, about thirty five thousand to fifty k per year, in that range. Yeah. See, look at her face. Right. So most women don't want a guy that's average. It's a two way street. All. Yeah. For men and for women. Yeah. So it's both. Guys got to become better, and then women have to lower their standards. But let's be real here. But it ain't happening. Right. Are women gonna settle? Probably not. Fuck no. They were they were too hard to get to where they are right now to settle. Yeah. So Feminism like, has basically made it where. Um, Women will not concede and or settle on a man, a man that's more average. And, and I would say, if anything, I think um, with the way feminism is going, women earning more money, women entering the workforce more, we're going to see way more single women. Because as a woman makes more money, that's a very big predicator on her ability to lock a guy and down. And even the average girl has so many options. Why settle? I mean, you got celebrities hitting you up, guys with value hitting you up. Yeah. Why settle? So. So. Okay. Did you have anything else that you want to say on that one? Well... I I guess I would agree with you on some aspects of it now because I do see where you're coming from. Like, I do know that a lot of guys that are average are, like, celibate for really, really long, like, not by choice. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I do get it. All right. Zina? Um, thoughts on, on the video. That's video. where we're on the video. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then can I reply? To oh, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, okay, if you okay. wanted to talk about so that. thoughts on the video. It's not surprising. Like these these females are straight up like ridiculous hoes, and they think it's cute. Like they do. Like I know I twerk and I dance, but at the end of the day, I'm not bragging about. Oh my god, girl! I fucked this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and like all in one week. I don't know. I just think that that's really trashy. Like I already am a dancer, so I understand that I look like I'm some type of hoe, but I have morals. So you know. And then I just think that's just trash, but it's expected from that shit. And then, right. um, especially in Miami. And then in response to the settling thing, like I've tried to say, I have settled for two people, low, very low, zero value, actually, not even low value males. Yeah, that um, guy was below, the guys are below average, <laughs> way below. Both of them, but, and, and that's, they both was young. So of course they're not going to be high value males. So let me not just straight up talk shit. But at the end of the day, I tried not to be that delusional person because back like 2019, Zena, I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. I was getting my own money. I didn't, I, I wasn't dating. I wasn't sleeping around. It was just straight up me. And you couldn't even talk to me unless you were making more money than me. So, but I felt like at the end of the day, guys like that wouldn't take somebody serious because one, I, eh, you already know so and then when i did try to settle for less like that shit's miserable so that's why these girls don't settle for average like the shit was fucking miserable you're picking up the slack you're paying the bills you're trying to build a fucking bear you're trying to build a man and then when when it gets starts getting toxic it gets more toxic because you're trying to fight to keep the relationship fixing and fix it because at this point you've put so much time and so much effort and you've lowered yourself and devalued yourself so much that it's like nah fuck this we gotta make this shit work because now i'm looking fucking crazy and bad and the more crazy you look the more crazy you get and yeah it just it's not worth it don't <laughs> devalue yourself totally you a high agree. value male but don't be overly dramatic and delusive but, but the delusional problem is that like, Zena, there's not enough to go around there yeah. is there's not enough now i'm not saying around. find a male that's making a hundred thousand dollars find a male that's ambitious find a man that's actually trying to work and try to do that. i'm not together. saying he has to be rich but a man that pays his own phone bill not his father paying for his phone bill. Find you a man that knows what responsibility is because you're out here taking care of yourself. And if you're going to build a relationship with someone, well, he has to understand. Like, it's got to be understood that eventually he's got to be the one that's got to be the man and he's got to lead. Not someone that's okay with you leading. But here's the thing, though. Yeah. Like, that sounds great on paper, but uh, we talked about this on TimCast, actually. There was a study that came out that women found most men is economically unattractive. I was about to say, if if you do find that guy, right? Are you going to give him a chance? Because there's a bunch of guys that make to... 60, 70 K per year average, maybe a little bit above average, but yeah. they're not tall enough. They're not good looking enough. They smell. They're strange. They're awkward. They're weird. They're Tattoos creepy. They're enough. not, uh, you know, they don't have game or what. they're not in shape or they're fat, whatever it may be. So like, like they, they might meet, uh, meet certain metrics on paper, but these are the nice guys that often get curved by girls. Overlooked, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a roommate that 
I mean, he wasn't rich. Obviously, he was my roommate. He was living in the house that I was paying most of the bills. But he was a roommate. Like, he was a nice guy, obviously. I ended up starting to give him a chance because he did start wanting to help me and pay for stuff. Like, he was giving me his full paychecks. And they weren't big, but he was, like, he was trying to be that person. Oh, so, wow. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, he wasn't cute. Not to me. He wasn't attractive. But his what is that effort. like his effort is what actually ended up attracting me and i was like you know i'm gonna give this guy a chance so you know how he, long did that last though um well he got obsessed <laughs> he did get obsessed like yeah. he let me i have videos he let me tie him up with my best friend and we'd walk up through the house and whip him with shit <laughs> whoa oh my god no i do have the videos on, but um yeah anyway he did what get obsessed fuck? but like it just why i cut him off was one time it was mother's day I don't know. He took the initiative to contact my mother. And I'm like really weird about my family. I don't like that. If you haven't met my family, do not. I thought you would have cut him off with the walking on him and the talk, talk time. No, because uh. that, that was, that was, <laughs> that's a fetish. That's sexy. Like you let me walk you like a dog and then like reverse roles like that. He didn't get through that to me, but that's Did he sexy. bark? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any woman is really attracted to as you know, I got no, a call. That's Come on, bro. Like Hot you, for you. Yeah, like not for uh, him. Yeah, you you you're degrading him. Like no woman wants to degrade their guy. Like the guy that I'm not gonna if say his name, but he probably will never let you do that bullshit. Now, now he ain't gonna let you walk him like a dog. If you let me put a toy in your ass, let's be real. <laughs> let's be fucking real. <laughs> All right. Let's... Okay. Anyway, um, yo. Yeah, women want a leader, guys. Um, but yeah, we do want. Don't. Leader. Yeah, don't let a girl walk you like a dog. Like Zena. <laughs> it's a fa when you're having sex and you're playing like BDSM role play though that shit does happen that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're open sexually that shit can get you hot like Yo. I'm sorry I would I like bisexual males like obviously I stayed with a nigga that liked his ass played with like the shit's hot to me so while I'm making my jokes it was still kind of hot it's kinky like let me put that strap on Wait, and be the man you must hate that nigga okay, you've been that nigga too many times uh, most girls will not have kinks deal, most deal girls don't listen, most girls will not deal with a bisexual okay, man I have a dog he has a leash yeah. it's for a dog not for a human okay uh, so uh, question sorry. for the Ladies, uh, would you date a guy that is bisexual? And don't worry, Zena won't attack you. I promise. No. Okay. Yeah. I knew you would. I, I can tell. We've been vibing all night. Yeah, I would. Well, is is your guy right now bisexual? He's not. Uh, how so, many guys have you dated that are bisexual? Um, one. One. What happened? Why did that relationship end? Um, it was just like a a high school relationship. We went to college and just oh. went separate ways. Oh. You broke up with him, or he broke up with you? Um, he broke up with me. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, how'd you know he was yeah. bi though? Um, he told me. Mm. While you yeah. guys were dating or after? No, what before we started dating? That nigga, nigga brave. <laughs> <laughs> he broke up with it. He was like, yo, this is way too hard. I'm gonna go on grinder. <laughs> the dude yo, has come up. Yo, go. I'm legal now. Yeah, yeah, like yo, real talk, man. Like I've always thought it was kind of funny. I like, turn 18. I, I okay, this might be a controversial take. I I genuinely don't think that there's a such thing as a dude that's bi. Because if you're a dude, right? Think about this from like just a human perspective. If you get the same sexual gratification of dealing with a woman. That you're dealing with, do dealing with a guy. Human beings are intrinsically lazy creatures. You want to go with the path of least resistance. There's a reason why we have technology and all these modern conveniences to make life easier, right? If you get sexual satisfaction from dudes and chicks, well, what's easier to get? Dudes. Why the hell are you going to go through the effort of courting a girl, spending money, having to meet all these prerequisites when you can go in and just smash a guy and be done with it? You know. So I generally don't think there's a such thing as as, as a dude. Being honestly by it's like nah, bro. You you, you like dudes more because it's gonna be easier. What yeah, I just can't believe Strange. that. Like, you're cool with that. Maybe he realized it. I don't know. Yeah, she's an exception <laughs> to the rule. Yeah. You know, yeah. but wow. she said maybe he realized that. <laughs> maybe <laughs> he was like, man, I'm tired of paying for these dates, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if I go out with a nigga, I know he gonna pay <laughs> every. Uh, you know, we gonna uh, split this thing. Just, hey, we're smart. just just as a girl, you know he could take it from a butt for somebody else. You're cool with that? I know he's gonna go smash you. Are you okay? But, but I didn't say that. Yeah, we didn't, I didn't say, say take that. It that I didn't far. say like he's no, but he's buying. 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 He's Take it in the butt, give it in the butt, come right back to you. Tell me in the world where that, where that makes sense you to you. Know? Know? Common sense. In the showers. You, you can tell when you have, <laughs> the when you have your sexual experience with a bisexual soap. man, you can tell when they're top or bottom. Nigga, they like, you said he like, you yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm, I'm not talking about that. Uh, I ain't talking about it. I'm talking about like future wise, like a fantasy. A lot of girls, let's be real, lots of girls have fantasies of having sex with two guys at once. And guys don't want to fuck 
together like that because they're not going to touch each I other. I don't. Most girls do. Oh. A lot of girls do. Okay. I don't no, know. I, I see a lot of porn that. shit when I look at it. Like, that shit's sexy as fuck. But I'm sorry. I want to see a dude sucking another dude. Oh, oh, like, oh I don't want to see that. But, like, I want to be the one saying, yeah, do that. Do that. Like, I don't know. That's hot to me. Like, I'll be watching it. Maybe it's the anime. I don't know. Um, but I like watching the shit. Like, Dr. Grey. What? Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of, I'm, Fifty shades of Grey. <laughs> Dr. Y'all wild, man. Y'all wild on this one. Um, what about you? Do you? I say, I say no. No. It's not no conversation. Not a chance. About, no. What about you? I would also. I'm gonna say no. it in Spanish. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like manly men. Like, like mm. manly men. You know, like Ma- if it manly no men. feminine. Like vibes, uh, like that. like Marlon okay. over here. No. Manly man. He's married. He is. <laughs> No. So I just came in to listen to this haramness. For real. <laughs> okay, what about you? Okay, so to me, um, personally, I wouldn't want to date somebody who's actively bisexual because I wouldn't want to get, and I know this is like really controversial to say, but I wouldn't want to get any type of like an STD from them because <laughs> they could like cheat on you or something and yeah. they're more likely to get it. So for that reason, I would have to say that I would not want to date a bisexual man who's actively bisexual. But if they were like had like some feminine traits, mm. I, it's okay. But I just uh-huh. like I just don't want them to be like fully bisexual, like having sex with men. Yeah, yeah. But you can get STDs with heterosexual. Yeah. Yes, of course you can. But it is more common. HIV is more common male on male. Yeah, crazy. I don't know. Like for AIDS. That, that thing is probably. But equal. I mean, I'm thinking safe sex at least. Actually, but. every single year I have to take a course on AIDS and all STDs because of my licenses, and that's not true. It's actually, yeah, more active within males. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, if you're doing bisexual, more but if you're doing I mean, bisexual, you're y'all crossing it. Mm-hmm. Ah! And that's how women get it. Y'all worried about that, but what about monkeypox? <laughs> <laughs> don't get I, mean, I don't have no opinion because I'm just not doing it. I want to try. Okay, so uh, you're cool with it. I'm okay. I want to try it. Why not? I'm pansexual. Uh, so I, maybe it's me biased because I am bisexual. So I like girls and I like guys. So okay. I don't see anything wrong with a guy being the same way because that's Please. how I So he am, could like... come to you. Go to another nigga. Well, come I out don't to you. believe in the whole cheating thing. So right. that's not going in my head when I'm in a relationship. Okay. I'm delusional to where I think loyalty is everything. So I just, I don't think, I don't wrap my mind around that cheating shit. Okay, like, but question. Okay, so yeah. how would you want the two guys with with you going? Like, how would that sex Well, go? if I'm dating my male and he was bisexual and we were trying some sex things, like at the swinger mm-hmm. clubs, because that's a fantasy of mine, swinger clubs. Um, I'm sorry. You got to be a top male. If I see a guy get on top of you, the relationship's over. Like, it's over. That's disgusting. What is going on over here? <laughs> I'm just observing. He Around. has to fight the sluttiness <laughs> of this conversation. Sharia law. And there's going to definitely be some beheadings after this show. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, this, Allegedly. This is, this is the most haram uh, segment I've ever witnessed. Where are we? Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah, this is bad. God damn. All right. Well, I know who the, the two uh, targets will be. Allegedly. I'll catch you guys after the show. Uh, but I, I, I do mainly want a heterosexual dominant male. Oh, I definitely no, 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 that's what I mainly want. You yeah. said, am I okay with it? Okay. So that's my okay. explanation being okay with it. Like you saying prefer. it's cool. But what I'm looking for, I'm not going out looking for, hey, are you bi? Yeah, fuck no. I want a dominant ass male that's like dominant. Like with a sword? Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh no, it's too late for that. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, continue on. <laughs> yeah, like I want a man that I'm sorry, if we're walking outside and someone tries you, you're not getting I, I need to be defended because I'm not gonna be the only one fighting. Like I shouldn't have to fight. I can fight, but I shouldn't have to. I want to see a dominant man that beats the shit out of somebody and then like, come on, baby, we're going home and carry me home. You know, like Superman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Batman. All right. Uh, okay i'll be out front i'll catch you guys later lovely <laughs> this was a great convo um chats. Cool. We have some chats here <laughs> moving on smartly dalton mcdaniel 20 bucks says question for the ladies what is the high body count for a guy and then girl in your opinion mm. hmm, that's a good one um a high body count for a guy i guess would have to be 50 to 100 okay 
For a female, I would say, and I'm sorry, ladies, 15 to 20. That's very high, depending on your age, especially. Like, that's really high. Okay. Yeah. For you? Um, For me, I think a high body count in a male would be like 70. And then, like, a high body count for a woman would be like, I don't know, like 20, 30. Okay. Yeah. For women, I would say like 25. For men, I don't know, like 60. All right. I would say like, not a number on it, but like per year, I say for women, about two per year. It's pushing it a little bit. Mm-hmm. And for men, I'd say like five or six a year wow. based on their age. It's Be conservative. Right. Here. Okay. Well, for guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say for guys depending on their age like if you're my age which is 23 40 to 50 i think that's that's pretty like you know for a guy it's a body count that's high to me okay right. and then a girl um for girls i don't have no opinion on girls the body count is four ladies round up or down <laughs> what, the, what? <laughs> all right uh the, 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 basically it's always four oh, okay yeah. okay so what about you about it was six. um like 50 to 100 for guys round up like or down. 20 for girls something okay like that, yeah. uh so i got a question for you guys what do you think the average uh body count is for a woman that's 25 years old and single um probably in the 30s you think in the 30s, 30s? i okay. think it's higher than what we think okay mm-hmm. what about you, you think I, average? I would agree um uh, okay. about 30 to 40 i, I saw something a, a couple of days ago when she was like she, 10 years she's been single she got about 30 okay mm. what about you i say definitely over 20 over 20? 20 30 okay um now i would say like 50. 50? I feel like women are good at hiding it or something. 20, I would say two years 50. from 25, though. Oh, yeah. hold on. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I would have to say 30. 30? Okay. I'd have to agree between 30 and 40. Okay. Now, what do you think the average guy's body count is? Mm. You think it's higher or lower than that number lower. you just stated for women? I think 100. the average is lower. <laughs> you think the average honestly. is lower? I think the yeah. average, because we're speaking about average males. Yeah. So I think it's lower because they, which is the majority, yeah, yeah. yeah. So at twenty five, yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna be. A, you're lucky as an average male if your body count is ten. You think mm, so? Okay. As an average male, well, think I guess about that's average, everybody. You don't have the pick of the sea. You got. You get what you get. Yeah, you get what you get. Okay. What about you, Miss Purple? Yes. Um. <laughs> Bruh. What am I even answering anymore? Yeah, I mean, do you, I think the question is: Do you think what do you think the average body count is for a guy? Do you think it's higher or lower than what than, uh, with the number you just stated for women? Which for you, I think it was twenty or thirty, right? I I don't know. Like I guess twenty. Before the podcast, you would have probably said the guys have higher body counts, right? Yeah, Fair I would have. Yeah, it's just that the thing is, is that all the women are fucking a very small minority of the men. So what I what I think of uh, what I think it is is basically, um, the guys that are having sex are having a lot. Like they're the ones that are like literally have the monopoly. They're banging basically. Girl, there's a bunch of Eskimo sisters. They're all fucking the same minority of men. Versus like for guys, it's like uh fuck you know like the majority of guys like that bottom eighty percent, bottom ninety percent. Hopefully for scraps. I can get a chance. Hopefully, yeah. But top guys get the pick. I think the average men now like around 15, between fifteen and twenty. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because I think that they do like settle, you know, like they. I agree. Okay. Like Men girls, are more willing to settle. Big girls, whatever. You know? Yeah. Okay. What about you? I have to agree with Zeno. Say ten or under ten. Okay. Um, average for the same for the same age you said. Yeah. For twenty five, I'll I'm gonna give fifteen. Okay. And that's for personal reasons. Do you think it's guy. below men women? Yeah. Yeah. You know. Averagely for it for the world, yes. Okay, it's, it's below, but the people I know, <laughs> these girls out here, her niggas, okay. city girls. No, 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 not mine. A block I of niggas, girls okay. out here, fucking. Where yeah. are you? Like, That's what I was gonna say. Is like, it just depends on where you're at, I guess, too. Like, um, because I, the people I know, the the where I went to college, the body count is higher. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, that's any. If I'm yeah. be honest with you, any yeah. university, the girls are gonna. Yeah. Like you know, if yeah. I would argue, if your girl goes and gets a bachelor's degree, her body count is more than likely gonna be in the double digits. Yeah, if she's in a sorority. That first semester <laughs> yeah. off rip. So if she's in a sorority, if she went to college, uni, a bi- I'm a like a big party school, especially. Bro, I'm like, bro, she was fucking man, hundred percent. Jake. Jesus. Like, the, and especially now, like, like girls, like over uh, overwhelmingly go to college over men nowadays. Like, you know, most colleges are like almost three quarters women. Yo, now. I believe what Tay said. If we had a counter, 
the girl's body count, they showed on her forehead how much body she had. <laughs> The world would be a better place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I, it, girls would move a lot different. I, yeah, I mean, it would be a lot different. I, I mean, when you really think about it, like everything, it's going to sound terrible, but I'm just going to say it. Everything about females comes down to deception. Makeup, you don't even know when they're, um, you know, when they're fertile, right? When they're on their uh, period, you don't know when they're uh, in, in heat, right? When they're, uh, <laughs> you know, ovulating. Like everything about women, real talk. It, it's it's done. The booties. You know, you can't even tell who the ba- who Tits. the baby's father is without modern uh, advent of science. The mystique. Right? So everything about you know females in general is deceptive in nature. You know, uh, women are better manipulators than men. I would argue because mm-hmm. since you guys are physically inferior, you Surv- have to be mentally survival. superior, right, to a degree. Yeah. You know, right before the feminists get mad at me. Oh my God, that's so sexist. It's true. Women are physically inferior to men most of the time. So how do women compensate? Well, you know what. I can manipulate you. You know, this is why girls are able to finesse dudes. If you look at, there's a reason why there's, you know, a bunch of sugar daddies out here paying girls a bunch of money, but not fucking, but girls are getting a lot of money. How many girls do we know that go on dates with men and don't smash or get things given to them because they're able to finesse? So women are way better manipulators than men are. Women have more game in general because they have to. They they have to be more cunning. They're not as strong, right? They're not able to impose their physical women on, on a man yeah. or their physical will on a man. So they have to get it through other ways. So Everything, if you really look at it, you know, not sounding like an asshole, is deceptive about women when it comes down to, you know, makeup. the way they make their clothes, wearing heels, makeup, b- body tighteners, right? To, to uh, you know, to make their waist slimmer. Uh, you know, like I said before, you don't know necessarily when they're ovulating unless you keep track of it in the calendar, right? Uh, you don't, you won't know that they're pregnant until several months down the line. When they do have the baby, you won't even know if it's yours. You have to do a paternity test. So everything uh, about women in general is deceptive to a degree. Don't worry, girls. No offense. Uh, I don't know if you guys have anything you want to say back to them. I mean, I, and I think it's like not like a bad thing. I think it's a survival trait. Mm. You know what I mean? Because think about it. If 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 a girl, right, if, if a woman has sex with a guy and uh, and then she ends up marrying someone else or getting with someone else and that man finds out, yo, this ain't my kid, you know, before the advent of modern science, right? He would probably kill her. Like, what, what the fuck? So she like, you know, obviously we live in modern day times now. So yeah. it's like men can figure it out. And they still go crazy, but I think that's kind of like a fail safe to keep women protected so that they were able to kind of exercise and get their best options surreptitiously without guys being able to to figure it out, you know, or not know when they're in heat, whatever. I mean, even going to the store and getting a seven dollar dress, you know, it looks, <laughs> like, it looks like a thousand dollar dress. You never know. That was an inside joke. Yeah. I don't know how that had to play with what we just said, but okay. That's, that's, that's 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 though. Uh, he, that's he was on point. I think that's true. I mean, no, he will. They, they, we got a whole religion based off of uh, a woman having a kid from somebody else. So what religion is that? <laughs> Come on, it's a joke. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was oh, lost. It's, uh, too. They didn't have modern science when Christian. a woman had a baby as a virgin, and yeah. boy got a religion. The, the miracle virgin baby. Mary. It was the neighbor's baby. It's a joke. It's a oh, common joke. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know because that's very. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, uh, but it, um, yeah. So I mean, that that's that's kind of. <laughs> Yeah. No one has anything on that? No, I just agree with him. You said you didn't know how to tie it in. Like, we can go to Shein and put on some, you know, some <laughs> Christian Dior slides and we could look like we just left the dining district, went shopping, but we got on a $20 outfit, $7 I'm outfit. I'm telling you, they can go to a you know? store for 7 bucks, get a dress, a lot of they spent $1,000. No cap. Jeez. I mean, but you can argue men can do the same thing and look good without spending a lot of money. I'm talking more about like the biological things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and, and women being basically women being able to increase their sexual market value through deception. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like men can do it too, to a degree. Right. But it's not as easily apparent. Right. You got to fucking maybe take some pictures with, you know, some fake status, whatever, maybe mm-hmm. But with a woman, all it takes, it's more so it's also acceptable for women to be deceptive with increasing their sexual market value. There we go. Like makeup is widely distributed and available for a consumer use, right? It's the one industry that no matter how bad the economy is, it's never going to go out of business. Right. right. And as a matter of fact, if a woman doesn't wear makeup, it's kind of looked at as socially strange and awkward, you know, like, yo, put yourself together. What the fuck is wrong with you? Right. So we incentivize women to be deceptive to a degree, whereas we don't really incentivize men to be deceptive to a degree. Men do it right. But if they do, if let's say you're a capper and you're flexing on Instagram, but it's not real. You're going to get called out. There's going to be social shame for that. But no one's going to social shame a woman for having filters or wearing makeup or wearing a dress that, you know, or, or a, a waist trainer or any of that stuff. We don't we don't really shame women for um, using deceptive Being practices catfish. to make themselves Some more women. attractive. Yeah, we call them catfish. catfish. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that we do shame. Whatever that is. 
and then they Ace still be Ace fucking Ace. the same bitch they're calling catfish. Yeah, but but, it, but they're gonna call them on catfish if it's like a gross misrepresentation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we're talking, you're we 30, can get 40 away pounds. with it more. Yeah, like it, like if she don't look like our pictures a little bit, you kind of expect that. But like when you get like a, typically when it's like an egregious, uh, you know, catfish, like the girl's like 30, 40 pounds above, yeah, or, or it's not her at all, yo, or yeah. some shit. You know, that should be hilarious, bro. bro yeah, bro. Wasn't that guy in Doctor Phil that said that? Uh, the guy from Miami, Doctor Phil, the girl that had no ass, had an ass on Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. The black guy. I forgot his name, but it was the video. Yeah. Okay, we got some chats here. All right. Uh, didn't we have another video? We do. Well, okay. What's it about? Well, you got it. Yeah, because we could just go ahead and play the next. And there's eight thousand plus you on here, man. So do me a quick favor, guys, and like the fucking video. Go ahead, Mo. This is a chill panel today. You guys are super chill, which is kind of refreshing. <laughs> it's good. So I don't have to. Um, fucking this lose one my is a. Again. Oh yeah, this one is on where the show asks women and men. How much have you have spent on a significant other or romantic interest? Okay, this is interesting. Here we go. All right, the most they've ever spent on a, on a uh, uh, yes, so the party. Okay. Maybe stay after YouTube. Okay. I thought this one too. How much have you spent on men within the last year? Nothing. Zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like a thousand, two thousand. Probably a couple hundred. Nothing too crazy. Probably a little over twenty five hundred. Everything. Two to five thousand. The IRS is looking or not? Why should I pay for men <laughs> to do stuff? I don't definitely spend more on me. Probably like five, six hundred, maybe. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Because girls need more shit, like we do uh we do price aligned gifts. It might be like a cool like 30, 40. Nah. <laughs> I what? don't know you like that yet. <laughs> Nowadays, like girls want to know if you got the bag. Like certain things, gender roles, hold that down. And if that's like really your woman, hold that down. I'm dating, so don't really feel the need to be spending money on somebody else. I'm taking them serious. Maybe after like, I would say like seven dates. Okay. okay. Very interesting. Okay. So I'll ask, we'll turn it to the ladies and we'll start here with Zena. Uh, this year, how much have you spent on a guy? And what's the most you ever spent uh -oh, on a guy? She's, she's feeling it. Uh oh. I'm a cry. Uh oh. This is um well you need to gather in yourself both experiences okay i've always been the one spending the most money stupid and taking and taking care of my significant other uh-huh so how much did you spend last um, year um i can't say that i'm on restitution oh shit so a lot them on you. um <laughs> All right. but Oh uh, wait, no, they check my bank. Um, well, no. yeah, no, I have to find. You know, you, when yeah, you do yeah. the financial yeah, investigation yeah, course, thing, so no, yeah. no, I'm good. Well, every time I did my bank statements, like I definitely, I was taking care of two people. So I mean, last you year you alone, have to give, you don't have to give. From what my tax shit said, definitely over thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars between us both, not just on him, but between okay. us both with hotels, food. But he Uber, benefited from it. Okay, he benefited when okay. he had money. He got my nails done. He got okay. my hair done. He this paid for my car and a hotel once. Now, outside of that relationship, so. do you typically spend money on men? No. Okay. All right. What about you? What? How much uh, did you spend on men this year? This year, I'm not really sure. Somewhere around. Thousand, two thousand, okay. All right. Um, do you spend uh, a lot of money on men in general? Yeah, because my love language is gift giving. So, okay. especially if the person like doesn't have a lot of people around them that like make them feel special, I like to make them feel special and like get them gifts and like bring them cute little things home and like get them stuff they like. But, and if like they, what though? You know, like. I don't know like it depends on who the person is like what they want like you know one time my boyfriend didn't have a phone case so I just bought him a phone case or like I saw a hat that I thought he would like so I bought it like I just if I I'm thinking of you so I want you to know I'm thinking of you so I buy you things okay. or like maybe if we're at dinner and it's like I don't know he's like forgot his wallet or something happened I don't know pay I don't care okay I need a Rolls Royce <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a Rolls Royce. I think I think the important question to ask here is that are you going to spend money on the guy if he hasn't spent money on you first? That's the real question. Seems um, like he'll invest in the guy after he spent money on you. I I would agree with that. Like okay. I need to be shown the same type of 
you know, like appreciation. And also as the woman, I want that, you know, I want to be shown that he's going to take care of me and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I'm going to show the same back that I'm going to take care of him, too. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, what about you? Okay, so this year about like five hundred dollars. Okay. Um, only because I do like to us uh, take turns paying for dates. Like I pay for okay. one, then he pays for another one for the next one, and then my turn like that. Okay. How um, many dates did y'all go on? Goddamn. Um. Well, I, this also like has to do with like uh flights. You know, I pay for you know, and then he pays for them, you know. Oh, you flew them out? Okay. No, no, no. Oh. It's for my own flight. Oh, uh, okay. Like okay. he pays for my flight, or I pay for my flight. You know. Okay. Like, so, All right. And you got a ting here in Miami? I used to. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and and uh, and do you invest in your guy uh, up front, or does he typically I, you you spend money only after you've I, seen him invest? I only spend money up front on the first date when I'm like, okay, I like this guy. Like, oh, you, you spend know? money if you like him. Like if 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 I really really like him, I'm like, okay, I wanna I I see something with this guy, then I'll pay for the first date. Like I like doing that. Yeah. Okay. Only right. if I really like him, like I'm like, okay, this, this, I want this to keep going, you know. Okay, but you'll pay for both. I think yeah, that's key. For, all right, all right. She just, she's, she's, she's paying her portion, but I gotta get the fuck out of here. Smart investor. Yeah, okay. I see it as an investment, and because guys yeah. do realize that, like, okay, not every girl does this. Yeah. You know? So I, I want to set myself apart. Okay. And then also, like, I'm, not, I, don't, I also don't want them to think that I'm only there for like a free meal or what, because I do have two younger brothers, and I put myself in their shoes. Like, I, I wouldn't want you girls... watch them get finessed by girls. Uh, yeah, I don't want them to get finessed <laughs> by girls because yeah. you know. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. What about you? Uh, what's how much have you spent on a guy this year? Let's say probably close to like three thousand. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, has he spent more on you than you've spent on him? I would say it's about equal. Equal. Okay. Yeah. But he invested but, first. No, I would say I'm usually the investor first. Oh, okay. Like piggybacking on what she's saying, I think some guys do value that. Okay. And it does like. It Which makes, is all potential it before you did it, right? No. Oh, you didn't. Okay. It, it kind of just sets you apart from. Okay. I think other women, because there's a lot of women who would go on a date, and if they paid for half the date, they would never talk to the guy again. That's very true. Um, but <laughs> That's I, so true. I feel like when you're yeah. like still friends and you're still getting to know each other, like just pay for your own food. And if you can't, then that's kind of showing them that you're some other type of woman. Okay. I feel. All right. March. Well, a thousand this year. A thousand? What you buying, niggas? It was just some Prada shoes and then like the Jordans. Leather. No, just Buddies. some Prada shoes, and oh, then okay. it's only like a hundred dollars left after the Prada shoes. What do okay. you buy for you? Whatever I want. Okay, Ooh. but I'm dating, so this is. <laughs> he was tricking is... off on her, probably. Yeah. He was. I mean, he this spent... is dating. <laughs> All right, listen. You don't have to keep saying dating to remind <laughs> us that you're casually having sex. What I'm asking I'm is, not. Uh... I'm not. But I'm just saying, I'm I'm getting courted by the other. Hey, other people. Yeah, other people. You're splitting options. Saying. Yeah, but I've spent money on one person. Okay, Prada shoes. Yeah, okay, Prada but shoes. that did that guy spend more money on you? Yes. Okay, of course. Fair enough. So she brought Prada shoes. So was he proud of you? No, he was proud of me. <laughs> you get it? He was. What? I was trying to be funny, bro. What right. about you, uh, Miss Texas? Um, this probably like a thousand. Yeah, probably a thousand. Did he spend more money on you or? Yes, he okay. definitely spends more money. He invested first? Um, No, I think um, it was probably just like equal, like with Lily. Like we would go back and forth on things, but now he just pays for a majority of our stuff. So, okay. Do y'all live together? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Yeah. I, I, th this is very interesting because, Zena, did you have anything before I? Because I saw you just nodding your head like, fuck, man, or shaking your head like this bullshit. Oh, no. I'm just in disbelief from all my past decisions. <laughs> Um, yeah, what, what I've noticed about most girls is, um, which, which some girls here are a little different, but um, most girls aren't going to invest financially in you unless either A, they really like you or they see a potential, which I guess you could say are the same thing essentially. But um, most of the time, the guy is going to have to invest to some degree or have a crazy amount of potential for her to spend her own money. The only way I've seen girls spend money up front is if, like, for example, they want to put an investment long term and they can see, you know what, this guy might be potential or they want to press the guy and say, you know what, I'm different. Here's how I stand out. That's yeah. what I've seen. I yeah. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think uh, women are far more intelligent when it comes to spending money on the opposite gender than men are with spending money on women. Because I don't know if you guys noticed it, but the girls at the table, <laughs> right? They like kind of laughed, right? When it came to like spending money on men and or if you notice what they spent on men was far less than what the men spent on women. 
w- women are far like <sighs> women are not as uh, what, what i've realized is that on average most girls are not as willing to open up their wallet to a man right yeah unless they see like some serious potential with that if guy. a girl spends money on you with gifts it's a good indicator that you actually might like she likes you a lot versus like for example oh uh you know thanks for the, for the date it's been nice whatever no type of like effort like that she don't really care about if she spends money like that she likes you yeah and i think you made up a good point because i've talked about this before why guys have to pay for uh first dates um because you know not a lot of girls think the way that you two do like a lot of girls look at it as an insult if they if you if you say split the check yeah you know what i'm saying and, i and, would i would take as an insult or i would think you're like really poor <laughs> oh, wow. i would be like oh my gosh you're poor i'm so sorry no. for you i can't date you but like i will pay for half of it <laughs> I-, I think sometimes it's a test though yeah it's always a like test. sometimes big ballers people with money will take you to really like low-key places they will take you to like they'll take you to a food truck mm-hmm. and i'm okay with that you know, but you better like, pay for it stuff like that but it's like but what if you what if you split it with them one time and they pay for it the next 10 times like you never know no, like, I, I would split that, it man. for them but like if it's the first time i'm ever going on a date with you and you're like split the check i'm like Oh, so yeah, but what if y'all don't hit it off? I don't want like he don't want to pay for your food. I think I agree on the like if you you had the idea for the date, then maybe you should pay for it. Like, why would I have an idea for a date? Like, you're asking me, I'm the woman. No, 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 no. no. What? (laughs) She got a point. She got a point. Yeah. uh, That's not like I'm not like. Oh, hey. So, like, do you want to take me out to hibachi? Hmm. Like, who does that? I do. I, I would slid, never do it. I, 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 I never. I've slid in the. I slid in the dude's DMs. He's I rich. Understand. He's a baller, and you know where I told him to take me? A dive bar. Zena, the like, average and, and girl wants got to be a leader. Hey, you want to take me out? Cool, but if you're, if you're planning today, you should pay for it. You don't I think didn't so? pay for it. He paid for everything, but it was a dive bar. He was like, "Well, where do you want to go?" I slid in his DMs, and then he replied. I was like, "Oh my god!" Well, and you then he's like, well, "Where do you want to go?" You and I said, "Let's I'm go taking here. you out," versus you tell him where where to go. I like a man that kind of lets me choose a little bit. Oh, you're a little bit different. You, he might diff- be diff- different. Yeah, he, because I mean, it was different. my first time meeting him. Like, come on, I know we're not gonna go get married and drive off in the sunset. Like, I mean, but like a most girls so. want a guy to lead them though, like, not just oh, like she just yeah. answered it right there. The man was a celebrity. His high, yeah. he, he was. He already had high. She he hit him up, and he had higher holes. perceived value. Like, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, so, so him, I was like, "Yo, take me here." Let's him having vibe. a small thing like that, like, "Oh, uh, let's go here," especially if it's like in your best interest as a guy. Mm-hmm. Like, "Yo, it's a dive bar." Like he offered a nice place. I was like, "Nah, let's go here," and he just went with it. So, what the fuck. Yeah. I mean, I Still went to his though. house. But in so. general, the guy should plan. But yeah, yeah I get, but but I see where Walt's coming from. Walt, you're coming from. She hit him a celebrity, so he already has higher perceived value, and she hit him up. So it's like. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it cancels itself out. That could have been a setup. That could have been, you, yeah, you yeah, don't know, been, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Nothing sense. that you do that. I'm just saying in general. You yeah, know. I would never go where a girl suggests. But, Hell no, but, bro. Yeah, I mean, he did it. He went uh, before me. I was too busy getting ready and then wiping off all my makeup to put on less makeup because I had on a whole bunch of makeup and I had on lashes and I was like, no, not this nigga. And I was wiping off my makeup and I was with Selena Powell at the time. And she's like, girl, you need to go looking like a hoe. I was like, bitch, do you know who the fuck I'm going to go link with? I'm not looking like a hoe. And yeah. Best decision. I looked very Who was it? nice. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll tell you after. You know, I did tell you. I have told you guys. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, so I mean, with, with you, I, I think uh and, and I know some of the ladies here at the table might not agree with her, but I, I appreciate your honesty because a lot of women would feel some type of way if the guy said split the check. Yeah. They because um they like okay, this is gonna sound fucked up. Most girls can't accept rejection. I'll Sorry. just keep it a thousand. If you take an attractive woman that's 21, 22 years old. She might have been rejected less than five times in her life. So, I agree. I don't like rejection. I'm like, uh, I'm ugly. I'm like, why don't you like me? Like, what's wrong with you? Are you gay? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. a lot of girls share that same sentiment. So, yeah. um, so if a guy says, "Yo, let's split the check," even though he might, he might even like her. He might just be testing her. But a lot of girls' egos, like, oh, this dude asked me out and he split the check. He, Yo, he doesn't think I'm attractive. Then what do they do? I don't know if you guys took notes as that. She immediately shamed him. Oh, are you poor? <laughs> oh, are you not? Can you not afford it? Blah blah blah. Knowing that the dude can't afford it clearly, but it's like, let me shame you because I feel like shit right now because you don't want to pay. Because most girls are, you know, the, the, the women no, know, man, they're I would actually like they're think they're poor. I would actually think that they cannot pay it because, like, I do not know why they wouldn't keep, keep it a thousand. Like, you wouldn't oh. be on a date with them if you really thought he was poor. Well, I guess if it would be it a surprise hookup, that a he date. was poor. I'd be like, whoa, okay. I guess yeah. it, it's a difference than if it's a date versus a hookup. Because if it's yeah, a date, like, like you're planning to see them again, like you're trying to get, if it's a hookup, like you slide, obviously I slid 
nigga, I'm trying to link. That means I want to fuck. It's not serious. We both know it's not serious. So let's go to a dive bar. Let's get but some fucking drinks it, and let's do it. Mm. So I guess that's different versus, oh, I like you. Let's go out. Then, yeah, he has to pay. Yo, to keep it 1,000, though, right? Yeah. Think about this. That if the sense. girl's on a date with you, right, and you're making her pay, most girls are broke. So now you put in a position where, oh, shit, nigga, I didn't go in no wallet or nothing. Yeah. So you got to pay. <laughs> So it's like, yo, yeah. if you ask her along on a date, man, just pay for it, bro. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that uh, you should pay on the first date every single time. Not yeah. necessarily because you don't want to come off as poor or because the girl is broke or because whatever. It's just that I know how most women think if you go out with 10 girls. Let's say you want to did an experiment and you and you uh, went out with 10 different women and you told them, hey, let's split the check. I would be willing to bet seven out of 10 of them are probably not going to want to see you again. Yeah. So I know majority of women take a point of uh, issue with that. So you're better off to be the most attractive universally to the most women. Just pay for the date and handle it. Or they may just question what's going on yeah. in the back of their head. Like, uh, yeah. I don't know about this guy. And it allows you to control the frame of the day. That's the biggest reason why I tell you how to pay. Because when you pay, you could tell her we're going here, we're going there. She ain't going to ask you no stupid ass questions. I don't know. You know? I get nervous. Believe it or not, well, I get assuming the guy's get attractive nervous. and yeah, there's that know. you've built that that's up. That's why obviously. I want that. You like, should dive be bar vibe the leader, I though. Get nervous. Yeah, you should be the leader and obviously tell her, yo, we're going to go here, blah, blah, blah. But when you pay and it's fun and she's having a good time, she's not going to question it. Yeah. Versus if she's paying, oh, uh, let's go here. She's going to be worried. Like, yo, this nigga might take me to an expensive ass spot. And I don't got the money because <laughs> um, a lot of girls, okay, this sounds fucked up, but we already know three quarters of the day is held by women, right? We know 80% of the <laughs> consumer base is by women. A lot of women don't have money like that, bro. So a lot of them, like, you know, when that check comes, it's a high anxiety point for them. So they're like, fuck, okay, I hope he's going to pay it. Or if he tries to split it, this is going to be fucked up. So, you know, you want to be able to um, kind of, how do I say that, handle that objection. Yeah. Anything, ladies? I think that sometimes, I think definitely in my past too, I have taken the first date split kind of as rejection. But I think like if you, you know, I don't, I don't really judge based off of first impressions or even second or third. So if you were trying to get to know someone and that was what they opted to, then I would say at least as a man, to all men out there, at least fight over the check. If she's offering to split it with you, <laughs> if she's offering to split it with you and she's hard headed, just be like, no, I got it. And she'll usually just, you know, pay for her half at least. I think that's fair. I had but, to pay for like, my half on my birthday. Yeah. I've paid for friends of mine <laughs> on my birthday, which I don't think birthday. is fair. Okay. But I, I just don't think, like, if I'm thinking of if, I, if the first date's an activity and you picked out dinner and I picked out what we were doing after then yeah you pay for the dinner i'll pay for what we're doing after i think that's fair but but yeah I'd, there is a stigma around it and it still would kind of set off like a red flag alarm in a girl's mind any girl's mind because that's just what we're taught to yeah like, see and, and and you don't want to dream that like when your husband or like your future husband takes you out on a date that he asks you to pay for it. I mean, he asks you to split for it, but that's how women prepare themselves for dates sometimes. Like, is this my final fantasy? Is this, you know, yeah. Is that the guy for me? Like so, girls living a Disney fairy tale, we'll be honest. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, what, that's all we see when yeah. we're kids. But that's dangerous though. That's like a very bad precedent. Cause it's like, Absolutely. I think that's why so many women end up disappointed with men and have this, like, you know, this, gross expectation of I should be wined and dined and I'm going to find Prince Charming and he's going to be six foot three and have money and take me on a, you know, lavish date. And it's like, unfortunately, most of you ladies don't qualify for that, man. You don't <laughs> qualify for this type of guy. You know what I'm saying? And most importantly, if you do find him, what makes you think he's going to be monogamous to you? That's the biggest thing. Yeah. If you do find him, what makes you think he's going to be monogamous and take you seriously and pick you over all the other chicks that are hitting him up? Yeah. Effort has to be shown. Yeah, a lot of effort on, on both ends. So you know, so it's it's uh, it, it's both ends. Most guys, you know, don't level up and put themselves in a position to be sexually attractive to a majority of women. But at the same time, a majority of women don't understand that they don't qualify for men that are sexually attractive to a majority of women. And worse yet, they think he's hitting me up on Instagram or he wants to fuck. Uh, that means I have options. No, you don't, baby girl. He just wants to have sex with you. That does not necessarily mean he wants to have a relationship with you. And I think conflating sexual attraction and relationship attraction is one of the biggest flaws that modern day women suffer from. Hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else here? Here's some chats. The yep. Chats. And then I guess we'll turn it over to the ladies. Yeah. Uh, if they have any comments or questions or disagreements or whatever. Uh, we got here, uh, Mr. Yeezy 11. Shout out to Lily. I want to take you to go dance bachata. 
That's cool. I, I like to dance. Okay. Wait, uh, how can they find you? Because you don't have social media, right? <laughs> My <Nope>. email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, last time, like 17 guys emailed me, but none of them included a picture. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, wow. Stupid. You know? I mean... Wait, what about Snapchat? No. Nothing? Still? Never. Only hmm. fans? No. I love that. I'm really at peace. Like, I love not having to keep up with anybody, not having to show up. Like, I'm really, like, at peace and happy, you know? So, I want to keep it like this. I want to maintain it. Like, I like what I got going on. Hey, guys. Uh, wait, what's the email? So like email? <laughs> um, it's I think it's a description. It's my work email. <laughs> what the? Wait, your well, work email? It was on the, on the description last time. I haven't put it this time here. Oh, you didn't put it? No. Okay. She don't want to give it. All right, Amar, can you imagine a fresh Chris and the girl with pink hair all has subtitles beneath what the words would look like, lol. I, mean, huh? I don't get it. Uh, they're trying to say you're it's hard to understand what you're saying. Uh, Mr. D Dr. B84, to the young girl next to Zena, I'm 38 and I know a few dudes my age who would have never kissed a girl, let alone had sex. The men who smash a lot do not represent all men. Oh, to the oh, not Zena, to, to you. We went over that topic, <laughs> yeah, we did. We addressed that. <laughs> Okay. Think, these are kind of old, probably. Question for, yeah, these, yeah, these are from before. Yeah. Question for the ladies. Before we had that discussion, did you think that a majority of men were actually having sex? And we could start right here with uh, Miss Camouflage. Do I think a majority of women? Oh, Prior okay. to coming on this podcast for tonight, mm -hmm. did you think a majority of men were actually having sex or sexually active with women? Like the guys watching this? Men in general. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, sure. You thought okay. Yeah. All right. So you thought that that dudes were smashing? Dudes, dudes are always smashing. I feel like. Not well, like we not, just went over that. I know, but <laughs> like at the same time, they still are. Like even if, but it's a minority. Yes, I okay. So did you did you did you know that prior, or did you think all guys were smashing and it wasn't just a minority? I guess I didn't know that prior then. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Um, no. You didn't know? Okay. No, I didn't think all of them were. No. Okay. Before I started watching you guys, like a year ago, no. But then it makes sense, you know. Okay, the numbers add up. Mm -hmm. Okay. You definitely didn't know. Uh, and then, Zena, what about you? Did you? I knew. You knew? Okay. Uh, to the young girl next to Zena, I, you know, it's kind of funny because um, girls that are involved in, like, you know, whether it's dancing, OnlyFans, whatever, they know they a lot know of the the times truth. that guys uh, are customers. Guess why they're my customers. The customers yeah. are literally yeah. telling them to their face, oh, I need it. Please help me. Yeah. And I mean, just from a common sense perspective, think about it, ladies. Like, pornography, strip clubs, OnlyFans, um, the top websites in the world, the top two or three are all porn sites. Do you guys really think the sex industry would exist if a lot of guys were getting laid? Wow. And but even, I just didn't and care. I wasn't looking at the world. I'm just looking at who I know. You know I why? Y'all have... are in your own world, yeah, literally. That's, yeah. I, and I, as I should. Literally. That's, yeah, that's, I just should. that's yeah. actually a terrible you know, way to live life, living in your own world. Well, well they don't it's care. My, it's my world. <laughs> but you know, a lot of the time, even at the strip club, like they think because you're at the strip club, throw money that, oh, they're slanging it. A no. lot of the times they're actually getting finesse. Like I've seen girls do rooms where they're like, oh, Poppy, give me 800. And as soon as they do the room and the manager's like, oh, no sexual solicitation, da, 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 da. as soon as you get paid, as soon as the nigga starts taking his pants off his, oh, I'm getting the manager. You can't do that. So you, you can't get back your money. Like yeah. there's a lot of finessing that goes on. 100%. So there's a lot of misconception about, oh, strippers are all just hoes. Not all of them, really, yeah. from I what mean, I've seen, especially at my, my club. A like, good a good amount of them are smashing but at the same time yes i yeah. agree that the finessing is happening and, and I, I mean it's just common sense like you gotta really be that nigga to get to smash it's not just a regular yeah um this i mean it's just common sense. like yeah. guys wouldn't pay for strippers and hookers and all this other shit if they had the sexual market value to get girls for real they just wouldn't like it wouldn't be a thing you know what i mean i'm not gonna pay a girl on only fans to look at pictures of her titties when i actually have real titties in front of me you know what I mean? Like, I look at any guy that actually gets girls. They're not going to pay for that shit. Some guys will. They're, you know, minority. But most men that are good with women are not going to do that shit. So, um, so that should tell you right there that there's definitely a uh, difficulty with a lot of guys. Uh, Dr. B84, men struggle to get sex from any woman and women struggle to get a long-term relationship marriage from the best guy you they can lock down. Yeah, very true. Uh, we got here, FNFB stating facts. Ladies, I'm 29 years old, still a virgin, and never been in a relationship. No cap. Because I was never looked at twice. However... Uh, that's life for most men outside the VIP section. No complaints, because that's how boys become men. F and F, yeah. And that's from Abdullah Al Anzi. Yo, so I was yeah, in a lot of guys. Were I was in the elevator um, two days ago, yeah. and there's this guy there. Um, you could tell he was like nerdy, you know, glasses, a little bit out of shape, had a bunch of computer stuff on his person. And I was like, I bet you this guy's a virgin, bro. And not not like telling him that he's he is. I'm just saying like how he was moving is like fidgety, like. 
dude, girls don't give you a chance, bro. They, they just don't. So you just kind of give up like that. Yeah. Um, it's sad though, but this this is how women move. And I, and I wish I wish uh, we talked about this with Minister Jab. I wish guys were more like this, but women don't give you the benefit of the doubt. They doubt your benefit. Mm. It's up to you to prove that you're worthy a lot of the times. But a lot of guys will give women the benefit of doubt instead of benefiting the woman. That's true. Which is why so many guys get finessed. Because a lot of guys go in thinking like, oh, yo, she's so special, whatever, when she hasn't proven shit. But when girls deal with men, you got to prove something to a degree. Yeah. If a girl's fucking with you, you've already met a bunch of prerequisites to some degree, whether she'll admit it to you or not. Which is why I tell guys, yo, if you are that guy and you got your shit together, whatever, you need to demand excellence from your girl. Like, if I'm going to be in a relationship with you and you dress like a slut, I'm not going to take you serious. Like, you got to hold her to a standard. And I think the problem is that a lot of guys don't hold women to standards. Whether it's their girlfriend, a woman they're dealing with, or a woman that they're currently courting that may be a potential. Men rarely hold women's feet to the fire when it comes to putting them to excellence and making them the best version of themselves. A lot of guys just accept whatever the fuck comes with girls. And I'm here to tell y'all, man, she's going to respect you and love you more by putting her on her, keeping her on her toes and making her a better woman. She should be a better woman by dealing with you. I think the burden of just getting a girl and then finally getting her is kind of yeah. like, oh, wow. That's enough for most guys. Yeah. 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 Like they don't even care about her, like respecting them or, you know, some guys will sit there and be with a girl that literally disrespects them. You mm -hmm. bitch ass like a fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And they'll stay there. It's like, I got yeah. one. I got yeah. one. I got one. Yes. She only fucks me once every two months. And she may or may not be fucking my friend Pookie, but you know what? Fuck it. I got a girlfriend. Yes. That's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reality. You know, a lot of you guys settle, bro. And I need you guys to adopt more of a female mindset and start dating the way that women do. Women put guys through the fucking runner, but guys never, ever put women through the, their paces. Yeah. You're really giving away free game on the internet with little to no appreciation. I love you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Anak. Um, the rat, that's why so many feminists hate us, guys, because we tell the truth on both perspectives. Give it 1,000. Man, ain't enough letters in this chat. I'm tired of these 304s, especially Pandora's box over there. Y'all not what y'all think y'all are. Raggedy what are you talking about specifically? Who is Pandora's box? Yeah. I, think, I think he might mean you, but I don't know. Me? Yeah. Why would it be me? Because, no, look at it from this point of view. You're beautiful, right? On the outside. But inside is like a whole bunch of like Oh, because Pandora's chaos. a goddess. I got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was lost there too. Uh, no, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to turn it to the ladies now? Cool. So ladies, question for us on the panel. For us guys here, anything you want to know? Why do guys go see you? Why do they cheat? Whatever you want to know, we, we can answer for you right here live. Or disagreements right or whatever the hell. I questions you got. Questions. Topic, whatever. Go ahead. Why do guys... Um, stay in a relationships where they literally know the girl does not care about them at all. Mm. Like they're literally like abusing them, but they'll literally like cry for them and stay with them. And then like there will be like another girl that'll actually be nice to them and stuff, but they'll still go for the toxic girl. Mm. You got it. Sanka. That's two out of three. No, you gotta go. No. Two out of three, fresh. Uh, fresh. Two out of three, fresh. Yep. What? Yes. Chris, you're on my side, bro. But two out of three, though. What did you say? Two out of three, man. <laughs> yeah, son. I've, I've been losing fucking these rock, paper, scissors things, man. <laughs> Sinbad. Uh, scarcity mindset. I'm going to put it down in one in two words. Maggie. Scar uh, most, Maggie. Guys, most guys have a scarcity mindset where they think there's not enough girls or they don't think they'll be able to get another girl. Um, and that's why they tolerate bad behavior. I, I think it's it's on both ends. So men typically have a scarcity mindset that makes them scared to go ahead and try to replace their girl because they don't think they can. And then women have an abundance mindset where they think they can replace their guy, but they typically can't. And what I mean by that is like, they're not going to replace their guy with a man that's going to take them as serious or give them the same level of attention or whatever. Like girls have an abundance mindset to where it hurts them and men have a scarcity mindset where it hurts them. There's a saying, right? Comfort is the enemy of achievement. All guys get, get comfortable in a situation and mm -hmm. they don't have options as well, like you just said. And I, think about it. A guy that just got a girlfriend that's hot, like, oh my God, I got her. Yeah. So now they'll do whatever it takes to keep her. And if that means taking some abuse, taking some like, even sharing you know, her while cheating, they're they'll, they'll do it because that's their best option. So, wow. Comfort. But, yeah. but she did say, like, um, what if he has a nice girl that wants him? Why isn't he going for the nice that's, girl? Remember, that's not probable another, and that doesn't occur. And most of the time, if, if a man is being abused option. by his girl, I'm going through that. <laughs> if a girl's being abused, is, is he having sex with you? Yes. Okay, then he probably doesn't see you as wife material. That's why. But, but remember, comfort. He's coming no to you in that situation. Oh, I've why. known him so for like, like six years. Six years? Yeah, like long as hell. So he probably doesn't see you as wife material <laughs> at all. Because because what what's happening? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if yeah, I keep it definitely. all the way one thousand with you, if a guy's getting abused by a girl, and then there's another girl that treats him well or whatever it may be, and he still chooses that abusive girl over. 
the girl that's treating him well. Well, number one, that's not probable because let's keep it a thousand. Most guys years. don't have that. Most guys don't even have that fucking option where they yeah. have a girl that's sitting there ready to jump in for that other bitch. But if he's not going to commit to that other girl, more than likely he knows some unflattering things about your past that is not going to make him uh, able to wife you. Yeah. And you said that he knows he's known you for six years, right? No, no. Well, like, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> or the other chick is way more attractive than you are. One of those two things. That's not the case either. Okay, well. I think that is just like they're in love. No, it's, it's probably just comfort. But y'all are fucking, right? But like, they say they're not going back to their ex, but like, you know, like, who knows, right? Okay. I, it's, I promise thing. you, it's one yeah. of two, it's a okay. couple, it's one of yeah. two or three things. A, he knows something about you that is gonna, is, he doesn't want to wife you up. B, the girl that he's currently with is hotter than you are. C, um, why would he? Why would he commit to you and give you a relationship when he's getting the milk? Why buy the cow and you're getting the milk for free? It's one of those three. It's been six years, baby girl. And if he knows you for six years, I guarantee you he probably knows some things about you that probably disqualified you from a relationship. The difference is this, though, like with women, and this isn't against no, you. No, it's just that he knew my ex boyfriend. Like, there you go. That's yeah. it. That's a wrap. That's that. That right there, you're automatically disqualified. If a guy knows a dude. That used to fuck with you or whatever, and like they're friends or whatever. A lot of times that will disqualify you. But they're you from not leadership. friends anymore. Doesn't but, matter. But he he's still smashing her though. He's he's smashing you, right? <laughs> yeah, like so he's getting what he wants, like you said earlier. Yeah, he's, he, he, why pay, it's comfort. Why buy the cow Listen, when you could get the milk for free? Bro? I have a girl at home that I'm comfortable with. Yes. So on some level, I have an emotional tie to. I can smash you whenever I feel like. Why yep. am I gonna wipe you up? And then that his girl might still do some things behind the scenes better than you do, or yeah. she might be more attractive. Yeah. I, I, you don't have to admit that on yeah, air. She's yeah, yeah, more yeah. attractive, but but that that's yeah. typically yeah. men are very simple, bro. It, it's it's one of those three things I mentioned, um, and the other thing too, like yeah, like uh, the thing about women, uh, it kind of sucks for you guys is that when a guy doesn't give you what you want, it's very difficult for women to understand why, because most men they're not going to tell you why you got curved or disqualified or why they're not going to wife you up. They'll, you'll never know because yeah. if they tell you, it'll hurt your feelings, and most women can't handle the truth, so they're just going to walk away from you. Yep. Yeah, and that's humans in general. Like, I mean, women don't tell men why they disqualify them either. But for for you guys, for a guy, you could kind of figure it out. Maybe I'm a pussy. Maybe I'm broke. Maybe I stink. Maybe I'm ugly. But like for a woman, it's like you're cute, you're attractive. Why he fucking reject you? So it drives them mad. Like, yo, why do you fucking reject me? A lot of times it's because you might have done some motion in the past that he might have known about that you don't even know that he knows about. And then bam, he ain't gonna tell you, and he's just not gonna take you serious. Did I answer your question though? Um. Yeah. Like I think she it was just. Though. No, I think it was just because he knew my ex and like. My ex just like called me crazy, so like I have to prove that I'm not crazy. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's it, but I think that is it because like his bitch literally cheats on him, has sugar daddies, like all types of shit that I never have even done to anyone. So definitely, then she's definitely that. better than you. Then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now, now, now I know be. for a fact she's better than you. No, that's what it is. If she has multiple sugar daddies cheating on him and shit, like a guy's got to be that girl's got to. I mean, I'm not condoning. He's a fucking simp, but. Uh, but for him to tolerate that fuckery from that girl, guys will tolerate a lot of fuckery from a girl if she's extremely attractive. Oh, I don't no. think women understand how important beauty is to men. I'm telling you, the person does not have a good reputation for beauty either, but they know each other for like their whole life, so they like childhood loves or whatever. Once again, it's, Wait, it's, it's comfort. You don't he, think he knows that, her for a long period of time. You don't think that maybe your opinion on her beauty could be biased because no, you're another girl. No, 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 I actually listen. think she is pretty, but, but I just like I, I, I don't know, like a lot of people don't. But I think she is. Does he she does. have face tats? No. That's why. <laughs> I, like face, Shit. I like face tats but a lot of guys actually yeah the like guys like fully tats. tattooed yeah. so that's definitely like they like me more because i they want me to get a more lot of face guys tats. can be fully tattooed and not want a girl as their girlfriend that has their face tattooed like they're like he's like, like the model get your you're face most likely not gonna be a model if you have a tattoo on your face well actually it's that's devalued. not true because i make all of my money from modeling and acting and i get more parts because i am tattooed and have a face tattoo so but you're that's an exception well, I'm already the in the industry, but I you know make more money because of it. I just um, feel like you just shouldn't settle. It's been six years. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna feel much better letting go than holding on to something, trying to prove yourself to somebody that knew you. Listen, yeah. she and you listen, are pretty. Listen, like, she ain't going nowhere. All this pep talk, I mean, she's staying right there. I'm saying oh, right there. We're telling yeah. her she ain't going nowhere. Here's the thing. This is the difference. 
Here's the difference between men and women. I don't know if you guys noticed it. I gave her every single variable as to why this guy and is not taking her seriously. And she made an excuse for every single one, refuses to accept it, and is going to continue doing the dumb shit she did, which is keep her in this position, which is fine. But this goes to show the difference between men and women when criticism is given and or the truth. This is why guys can't be honest with girls. I know for a fact it's one of those three variables I just gave you. You refuse to accept it, which is fine because it hurts a little bit. That's cool. But women, like I told y'all before, you guys are seeing it right now in 4K. Women can't accept rejection, and they're going to manufacture or hamster a reason as to why they're not where they want to be, right? With guys, it's like, yo, you got rejected, you take an L, it is what it is. Guys, I took an L, fuck it, man. I get rejected all the time. But with girls, it's not common. So what do they do? Fuck that. This is an attack on me. I need to find or manufacture something as to why this is happening. This bitch is a sugar. She's a hoe. She's not even that cute. Blah, blah, blah. I'm well, just telling you it's one of those well, factors. Manufacture. And these are things like, that he told me. He's I lying to you, bro. Up. Like, yo, <laughs> men will say and do anything to keep you in their sexual rotation. He's telling you that and stringing you along to make yeah. you feel special so you don't feel like a piece of property. Listen, you know, you know, feel, you know when it's Sorry. real, when it's actual genuine effort and things are progressing. If you're in the same spot six years later, come on, bro. Yeah, six years? That, that nigga playing your ass. Wait, so, yeah. so I have a question but that kind of ties with me for six years. <laughs> It was all like recent. We were just friends for six years, and then like I mean, now, guys will wait. So you friend zone him for six years? Like yeah, I was just friends with him. Oh, then he definitely doesn't give a fuck about you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, like, yo, when you friend zone a guy and he's sitting there and he finally hits, bro, it, it's it's a resentment. Man. Even even uh, the, the there's guy, gonna be air resentment. Yo, you know what's funny too? Let's say you're dating a guy, right? And you're holding on sex. If you make him wait for a long period of time, he could definitely not take it serious either. Yeah, because you, you gotta be. And, like you, you have do. so many yeah. things here. Like, like he has a girl already. I'm, no, no he offense. doesn't have a girl already. Like he broke up with her, but I just like feel like he's gonna go back to her for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's uh, just refuse. Let's to agree, let's agree truth, to bro. disagree. Yeah, refusing to accept. You had a truth. question. All right. Um, so, <laughs> at what point should a woman cut her losses if a guy's not committing to her? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. I like that. That's a really good question. I need um, to know. We we it depends on the guy. We don't know the exact time frame, but. For each person, but I will say this: if effort is being made, and you can see the effort, wait. If the effort stops, and you feel like you're in the same position and nothing's being done, I mean, that's gonna be up to your your judgment. But like, to me, when they put in effort and you can see visually like they help you with certain things or they're actually progressing your life, then it makes sense. Versus you're the same position, he helping you, he's doing his thing, you're just there waiting. It's kind of like yo, you got to decide what do you what do you want? Do you want to sit here and wait and hope? Or see the effort. You know what? This is going somewhere. I want to be here. And also kind of know the guy that you're dealing with. If he's an attractive man, just understand the chance of him committing to just you by yourself are very slim. Uh, and he might not want to commit. You know, yeah. uh, I think women got to understand that men and women's values are inverse. And what I mean by that is that like when you're trying to settle down at 27, 28, 29, 30, his value, your, your value is declining as a woman. His value is simultaneously going up. As his value goes up, he's not going to want to settle. As your value goes down, you're going to want to settle. And Women just need to know that as you get older, your chances start to diminish as you get older. So if you're finding a guy around your same age range, right, that's on his incline while you're on your decline, just know a lot of the times, if he knows his worth especially, or he has options now, he's not going to want to commit to just you. Yeah. So I would, I would say as well, focus on action is not what he just says because yeah. that's a lineup. If it's out of, out of sync, then you know something's up. Yeah, guys will say anything to keep you in a sexual roster. Thanks. Like like with you, for example, he's telling you, no, I don't really like it like that and all the other shit. Like <laughs> guys will say and do anything to keep you on their sexual roster. Look for the effort. Makes sense. Thank that's you. what I was saying. Yeah. Cool. But <laughs> for a tangible time, one to two years. One to two. One to two years. Ooh. Tangible, yep. tangible time of like yeah. uh, of like to kind of see if he's gonna kick the relationship to the okay, next. But if you don't, level. when a, once the effort stops, how long do you like hold on? To well, I mean, I would hope it, the effort's still going there when you're waiting around for a year. Like it should be incremental. Like it's getting you but know. Once it's at a standstill, how how long would you say? Like you know, like hey. that's on you. You're fucking up somehow. Then if it's at a standstill yeah. as a woman, and I know that sounds terrible, but the reality is, it's your job to keep the man. It's not his job to keep you. I'm learning that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So guy game is attaining the girl. Girl game is retaining the man after you fuck him. And <laughs> I would argue most girls can't retain a man long term, which is why so many women are single and they can't. It's tough for them to get a ring. And once a woman understands that it's your job to keep him, mm -hmm. it's going to change the game for you. And you're going to have to realize that for you to keep a guy around, you're going to have to be an asset, not a lot of liability and serve your man. And I know these are terrible words to use in 2022. What am I a slave? But that's what that's the truth that's that's what it is if you want to keep a man you need to be an indispensable part of his life where he can't operate at 100 percent. 
if you're replaceable, in other words, if you're just another bitch he's having sex with, he's not going to take you seriously. He can get sex from other women. Right. Yeah, Most girls kind of come in and think, I'm just going to lay here, give him some sex, and I'll keep him. No, that, 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 there's always a time clock on that. You need to be able to add other um, portions of value. And it depends yeah. on the guy. Every man's different. Some guys might want help with their business. Some guys might want a coffee in the morning. Some guys might want you to have a gym shake ready for him every time he comes back from the gym. Some guys might want you to provide cool. some other kind of value. Yeah. Some other guys might want you to get him bitches. Yeah. Every man is different. But your job as the woman, see, that you already fucked up because you have that mindset like, what? what, what? Yep. See, yep. here's the thing. When you find the man that you want, mm -hmm. it's not about fuck your happiness. It's about what makes him happy. That's how you keep a man. And once women understand that and switch the, the perspective and realize I need to keep my man happy and a byproduct of that is I'm happy, that's when you win. Because here's the reality, an uncomfortable reality and a sexist reality, but that's what <laughs> life is. Life is sexist. Um Women Misogyny. get the most pleasure from serving their loved ones. Not from a career, not from earning money, not from being a six-figure boss bitch. It's from serving people that they love and their family, their children, their husband, their parents, etc. They did a study in Ireland on this. Back in 2020, during the pandemic, as you know, most of the workforce had to go home. Everybody was home, right? In right? Ireland, what they found was, which is a first world country where feminism is strong, just like the United States. So it's very similar. Mm -hmm. When it was time uh, to go back to the office, most of the women elected to stay home with their family. They said, fuck the career. Okay. So we know, right? And also just from a biological urge, most women prefer family and a children over a career. And if they do get a career, once they have kids, their hours come down. They don't give a fuck about it as much. As women have children, hours cut down at work. As men have children, hours go up in work because men understand, oh, I got to provide. Women mm -hmm. understand, I got to go home. Right. So, my thing is, is that once you have a man that you love, admire, and respect, you need to look at it like what makes him happy. You making him happy and serving him is what's going to have make you happy. Because if you keep him happy, guess what happens? He's going to keep you as his chick. You get that security that you yearn for as a woman. Bam, you got a relationship. But modern day women have it fucked up. What makes me happy? No, but I'm me, not just. Uh, I'm hold just, on, let me finish. Okay. Look, what makes me happy? Bags, temporary things, uh, fucking trips, being a thought, all these things. It's. Temporary happiness, but it doesn't make the man happy. And since the man isn't happy, he can only tolerate so much of the fuckery. What does he do? He leaves. And then you're single again. And what do you how do you fulfill that singleness from doing a bunch of dumb shit that isn't gonna fulfill you long term? So my thing is if you want to keep a guy, need to, you don't need to ask yourself what makes you happy. You need to ask what makes him happy. He's happy. Now byproduct is he's gonna treat you well. You're his girl. You get that security. Now you're gonna be happy. My mom has always told me men love useful women. Like be useful like he's always telling me like be useful like you know mm. do you well, what's think the, that makes sense yeah. um i was with him until he just he put an example of get get my man bitches i'm just not i feel like that's degrading myself i'm not doing that but, but I, you're not the man for me if you want i'm giving an example right. but but the thing is i'm telling you is that and the reason why i'm saying that is, is you got to prepare yourself if you're going to be with a man that's attractive that can attract other women you can either be involved in the infidelity or you cannot be involved and get your feelings hurt. But the reality is if a man's attractive, he's going to fuck other bitches. You will never sexually satisfy your man by yourself. Period. I got a lot of growing to do. Yeah. Well, well, I I would just sit too as well like regarding that. Um, that guy that you want. If he's putting in the effort and you see like, okay, cool, this guy's actually serious, don't play games. And, and I, it sucks. Yeah. I'm, I'm not telling you that like that's what you should do or aspire to. I'm just preparing you from, well, let's say you meet the man of your dreams. Mm -hmm. He don't want to be monogamous. What are you going to do? You're going to break off that relationship and go back to the streets because your ego and you don't want him to have sex with other girls. She and he says, baby, I need streets. you to help me get these other women. What are you going to do? I'm just simply not into that. So, I mean, you're All right. So the streets you shall return. Yep. Now you now, here's the problem. Now you threw away a good relationship because of your fucking ego. I just got to do that. That's yep. that's that's yep. the, and th I mean, this is why I, have, I still have time to mature. But at this point but, in my life, I'm no, you don't. here's the thing, though. This is why so many modern day women fail. They're not they're willing not. to do what's required what's to required. get the man of their dreams. They think it should be take me as I come. Uh, I'm special. You should only be monogamous to me. A man doesn't bust his ass to earn a lot of money, become attractive, go to the gym, etc. to fuck one bitch. I'm telling you that's your face. Hell fucking no. They're always going to want to have sex with other girls. Now it's up to you. Maybe you could tell them, listen, baby, I love you. You can go and do your thing, but I don't want to be involved in you getting other girls. Cool. Then you got to kind of deal with it. Maybe he might say, fuck this shit. Then you know what? Is she, she ain't done with this. Whatever. It comes down to the man. If you meet the man of your dreams, you got to do things to keep that man of the dreams. Success comes with a price. The problem is that women think that they can get a winner, right? <laughs> get a winner and keep a winner. 
while playing on a loser mindset of not being able to retain that winner. You want a winner? All the other girls want that guy too? What are you going to do to stand out? You got to do shit that you're not comfortable with to stand out. So you want a guy that doesn't cheat? I mean, that's the... Everybody, every woman wants that. Okay. So, yes. That's fair. <laughs> well, get yourself an average guy. That same guy that you scoffed at. I'm okay, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm when I said okay 5 foot 8, 35K, you, you gave me face. The 35K, I laugh because I know I don't I don't make more than 35K. So, baby, we got to be compatible. I want to be compatible with my man. That's why I'm so dating. I'm not looking man. for a relationship. You want above average man? Then I do. Okay. Yep. Well, well an above sure. average man is going to have above average standards. She wants a man of God. I do. I'm a I'm man a of God, God, by the way. It's in my bio. <laughs> wait, man of God. Wait, are you a virgin? I'm not. Okay. Uh, God forgives. I don't, but God forgives. No. Okay. Shout out uh, to all my men of God out there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, he might not forgive either. <laughs> hey, he ain't no God, God for me. And I know this is an uncomfortable conversation, but this is what women really need to start asking themselves. No, but this is what I needed. So I'm, I'm Cause, appreciative cause of it. Here's the other thing, too. Women are never going to tell you this shit. They're going to say, Fuck that shit. Break up with that nigga, man. Go, queen. You you deserve better, baby girl. You're a queen. Fuck this guy. He's an asshole. Blah, blah, blah. You guys get together. And I've always said it. Women per- keep each other single perpetually. Yep. They lie to each other. They tell each other you deserve better, etc. When in reality, that bitch is fat, 300 pounds, don't deserve shit. Yeah. But women will lie to each other and tell each other that they deserve the best. Bro. I would rather be alone than be abused, though. So, oh, like, now you abuse. know, everybody. No, knows. I'm saying, like, if you're in a bad relationship, don't just stay in a relationship to be in a relationship. If you're happy and you really like the person, then be in the relationship. But if somebody's not treating you right, don't stay in a relationship. Abuse for me just real quick. because because this is this is a this is a typical female response oh, abuse, yeah. which is an ambiguous term that no one can really define. Please tell me what abuse is. Tangible. Slapping the shit out of you, punching you in the face, giving you a black eye. Two is yeah. better. That's abusive. Well, hey. Yeah. yeah. Two is better. Where, where, where did we talk about slapping your girl and shit like that in this conversation? No, but I'm saying, like, if your man does stuff like that, Leave. don't just stay with him because you want to be in a relationship and you don't want to go back to the streets or whatever. Yeah. Leave somebody who we is We don't abusing condone you. men yeah, hitting we women at yeah, all. We don't. We, don't. Yeah, but, we gotta but, use common but sense we didn't, here. We, we didn't mention that. Yeah, we didn't mention that at all. I don't know where you came from with that. Like, yeah. because no one mentioned like because a lot of people that are in abusive relationships and i know because i was in an abusive relationship a lot of people stay and listen my ex was a great person money whatever status all that type of stuff but uh he abused me and like I just think that people should not stay in an abusive relationship just because you don't want to look for anyone else. Because that is a lot of a big part of why I did stay is because I didn't want to, like, be out on the town again. I didn't want to, like, find another person. So don't stay in something that's really bad just because you don't want to be single. You're an adult, right? I'm an adult. You make your own decisions, right? Yes. If you're in an abusive relationship, whose fault is that? Obviously, it's my fault. Okay, for there it goes. Ends there. We didn't talk about anything when it comes to abuse or anything. Having standards as a man, right, and you know, putting your foot down on these standards is not the same as slapping the shit out of your girl. We don't condone violence against women or any of that stuff. I don't know why you took it all the way there because those are two different things. Well, because you but- were trying to make it seem like that the most important thing is that a woman has to like a woman is kind of like has less worth if she's not in a relationship. She does what? have less worth if she's not in a relationship. I have a comment. Because because the thing is, is that a woman's game is can you keep a guy around? A man's game is can you attain women? So if I see a girl that's in her 30s or 40s and single, she's a failure. Period. She is. Why is it that we have metrics of men for being losers? Fat, slob, not attractive, incel. But we don't have metrics of female losers. But females can be unattractive as well. Yeah, but even an attractive, an unattractive woman can still get a man. That's the difference. Yeah. So if you can't even keep a guy, you're a loser. Here's the thing: I'm a firm believer in, uh, you know, uh, getting rid of participation trophies. In life, there's winners and there's losers. If you're a woman and you're in your 30s and you don't have a man by your side, you're a fucking loser in my opinion. That's how I look at it. As a as, as a man, if you're not able to attract a woman or you don't create change in a world where men respect you and women want to be with you, you're a fucking loser. Both genders have losers, just that it's different uh, variables that make you a loser. So I know what you're saying, like, oh, my God, abuse, whatever. It exists. I'm not saying it's good, but that's not. We're talking about men having standards and enacting on those standards, not 
using it through violence or whatever it may be. That's a whole other thing. And yeah. then we got to also take some accountability. If you're in an abusive relationship as a woman and you don't walk away from it, that's your fucking fault. You need to be able to have the accountability to be like, this guy's a piece of shit. I'm going to walk away. We're not going to sit here and cry for you. Like, you made a bad decision. Period. I'm aware of that. I made a bad decision. I'm not asking for pity. No, I was you are trying, because you literally changed the conversation. I was to trying try to, to give to, advice. To try to give you, it's, I was, I was it's trying not to appropriate give advice. advice for the context of the conversation at all. Well, you, I think it was just because it, you stated that women who are not in a relationship have less value. Yes. So what I said made sense because. But sitting I in a said, relationship that's abusive is stupid. Stupid. Yes, but you, I don't know if you've ever experienced abuse. It's not how people tell you it is. It's not like somebody just like does something once and you're like, oh, I'm leaving. Bro. If you have it the ability to vote, little by you're little. an adult, you have the ability to make your own decisions, you got to be able to take accountability and be like, yo, this guy's a fucking loser. I'm leaving. I agree. Okay. So what, what, what do you, you want us to feel sorry for you? Like play a violin or something like that? That had nothing to do with the conversation. It did, though. I explained how it did. It did because you kept saying that women who are not in relationships have less worth. Yes, but you have to be intelligent enough to understand that not every relationship is the same. If you're with a fucking loser who's abusing you, right, you need to be able to walk away and find another guy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, so we agree. Yeah, so we're fine. Oh, uh, I was going to say, I think back to what you were saying about like men, about like men, um, like successful men having multiple partners and stuff like that. I think that men are, have the stigma around them that they're um like they're only seen as providers the only the best men are who provide the best like that's just how they think of themselves so i think if they want to stop being seen that then they need to like not ignore like the basic part of a relationship is monogamy in most standards so i think that like if you are trying to not be seen as a provider and you are trying to do those things but you like i think men go into relationships and then if they decide that that like if they're successful and they decide that the girl that they're with isn't enough for them they not only will start cheating and expect her to stay but they'll also stop trying like i think a lot of men stop after the honeymoon stage um they fall off like a lot. I would argue women check out of relationships way more than men do. Yeah, and we actually have statistical proof agree. of that. You can't agree? I can't agree. No, I think I okay, see hold on. way. Here are some numbers for you. Women initiate between seven to eight out of ten divorces. Women check out far more. Sexless marriages occur most of the time because a woman doesn't want to have sex with her husband anymore, and women are far more likely to break up with their boyfriends and/or counterparts. So, I who really is the one that checks out of the relationships? Women check out over a longer period of time. Men check out almost, they, men almost always will change how they act, how they're affectionate, how that they treat their lady, um, like I would say right after the honeymoon stage. And then at that point, the woman makes a decision whether she's going to bypass like the, the struggle phase or if she's going to end the relationship. And most of them end it. Over time. So who really ends the relationships? I think the, the women, women end, the women do check out to a certain point but it's because they're not seeing the standard of man that was presented to them when they got into a relationship no the reality is is that women are far harder to please than men are and they don't get that same emotional stimulation they don't get the same butterflies the guy gets a little bit more complacent gets more comfortable with the relationship women need constant emotional stimulation and she gets bored with him and she leaves boredom is one of the worst things that you can have with a woman and unfortunately that's kind of what marriage entails which is why i tell guys this is going to sound terrible but this is why it's so important to stay attractive and maintain your options because women only operate correctly when they know they can be replaced all these things that you just mentioned will completely uh, you know monogamy you say it on paper it sounds great monogamy but it makes the man boring when a man knows that when your woman knows that she could be replaced and her man is of a higher status and of a higher value that will keep her intrinsically attracted to him for a longer period of time. Now, does that kind of suck to know that women need to know that they're not necessarily comfortable in a relationship to be able to make the relationship uh, more arousing for her? 
Yeah, but I mean, we know what happens when a guy is nice and monogamous and everything. The relationships end. Women overwhelmingly initiate divorce in the United States. I think nowadays regarding relationships and marriage, people think of it as my feelings are involved versus duty. And if you understand it as duty, okay, yeah. he may not be as loving or as I want to say the same as it was at the very beginning. But if it's for the family, for kids, I want to stick it out versus nowadays. Oh, I feel like I'm bored. I feel like it's not as romantic as it used to be. You just leave. We had a girl on the show two days ago. Yeah, I said, hey, I left my guy because he was boring. Yeah. He was making 100000 plus a year. Paying all the bills. Paying all the bills. Taking care, care of her. And she said, you know what? I just got bored and I, and I don't want to be with him anymore. And she got married young and she kind of wanted to experience things and go through her life. And I, I think that's probably a great mistake, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. But my thing is, um, you know, monogamy makes a man less attractive. I mean, I was, I was looking at... That's a biological you know, a conversation fact. yesterday, I think on Twitter, that it was they were arguing whether monogamy was a trait among species or if polyamory was more of a trait among species, because mm -hmm. they were arguing that some species, including humans, like they mate for life. And that's how like it's intended in all like aspects of religion and just nature. But well, then other people are arguing that it's the opposite of that. It, well, here's the thing. It's biologically proven that monogamy makes a man less attractive. You know, they've done it with monkeys and primates, right? Uh, uh, chimpanzees who are the closest to us, by the way, where they had a male chimp, right? And female chimps. The female chimps didn't give a fuck about the male chimp. But as soon as you put female chimps with that male chimp, the female chimps came over and wanted to mate with him. This also applies to human beings. If you go into a nightclub, where are all the women concentrated? In the VIP with a small mi minority of VIP, men and a majority of women. VIP. So women respond hey. very favorably to men that have options. Men, however, don't respond favorably to women that have a lot of partners. So we're different. A man that got sex with a lot of women is attractive. There's no choice. There's no disputing that whatsoever. So am I saying guys should run around and fuck a bunch of bitches? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that when a woman knows that her man is monogamous and he's faithful and he's never going to cheat on her, it does hurt him from a sexual arousal standpoint. And this, this conversation right now is a perfect example of what I mean by women say they like one thing, but what they're aroused by is two different things. So you mentioned earlier, well, I think monogamy is good. On paper, that sounds fantastic. But what are women actually aroused by? They're aroused by bad boys that can have sex with other women. That's why bad, nice guys finish last every single time, because bad boys understand this, I guess, dark side of female nature that for a woman to really respect you, she needs to know that you're picking her amongst all the other women and you need to constantly remind her that you're a higher value guy. And how is that shown? by other women wanting to have sex with you. It's got to be shown to her in the face sometimes. That's why we always say, um, what's the word I want to use here? Uh, you need to show it naturally versus talking about it. Yeah. And you don't have to actually do it, but just having the option that it could happen yeah. is something that has to be on the table. If you're out with your girl in public and, you, and women notice that all these girls are giving you the eye, well, she's going to become more attracted to you because now, without you even saying a word, her observing it with her own two eyes, other women want you. Now she's like, damn, okay. And he chose I can you. lose this guy. Yeah. Bam. But if you're with a fucking loser, right, that's not attractive or he's monogamous or he's super faithful to you and no other woman looks at him, eh, you're going to be like, you know what, man? Fuck it. Why, this guy, why am I with this guy? Women want what other women want. That's true. It's true. When it comes to the mating process, women are not independent thinkers. And I know that sounds horrible to say it like that, but it's the truth. It's a biological imperative. Like, they are not independent thinkers. Like, for example, you're at the nightclub, you meet a guy that's attractive. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to talk to your girlfriends. What do you guys think? You're going to go to the bathroom, huddle up and shit. I'll be right back. You talk with your girls. Like, oh, no, he's cute, girl, blah, 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 right? You're going to want to get their opinion on it. Me, Fresh, Chris are at the club. I meet a hot chick. I don't give a fuck what Fresh thinks or Chris. If I think she's attractive, I'm leaving with her. I don't need a co-sign from my guys, but women need a co-sign from their friends. What does that show? Well, women aren't independent thinkers when it comes to the mating process. And there's a bunch of biological reasons for that. You guys are weaker. You're, you're more vulnerable. If you get pregnant by the wrong guy, you're pregnant for nine months with a loser's baby. So you need everyone else to kind of weigh in on it. So I argue being monogamous as a guy makes you less attractive inherently. Women say they want monogamy, but the reality is they want a guy that can cheat on them. I like what Fresh said. <laughs> yeah, they just don't like the way I, like I put the it. Op, like, he's fine if it's like having the option to and choosing you i like monogamy i'm sorry i'm not sharing dick but if there's the option of oh all these girls want you but it's like i don't want them i want you that feels good but actually cheating 
No. Now, if for you're making night. like before, for example, a million a month, you could cheat. Just don't bring me no STDs. Oh, see, so a there we go. Months? Like you'll accept it. This is what I'm trying to say. Million, There's rules for million. certain guys, yep. and they'll break the rules for certain guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm thinking cheating is not that big of a guy. deal. One. It doesn't matter. Maybe you still two. have rules for some guys and not rules for <laughs> others. So I'm telling guys, you need to be the guy that she's willing to break rules for. That's that's my argument. Yep. You know, and being a monogamous dude. She ain't gonna break no rules for you, nigga. She's gonna make rules for you. Facts. Hey, no sex unless you take out the trash. You can't go out with your homeboys. Good boy. <laughs> you know? So, do you have anything else to respond to that? I don't know. Just... Um, I no, threw a lot I, at you there. I, I do agree that, it, like, to some extent, even in school and stuff, like, you, you would gravitate towards... You would gravitate towards the guy always that, like, you, either your enemy wanted or just a lot of people were gravitating towards because i mean at the end of the day it's attention but i think as you grow older like you i don't know i think personally i like a i like a fair <laughs> balance i like yeah, you finding know. someone i feel like is on my level March, you don't know and when we go out like we both have we both have options, but it, when, like, you choose each other at the end of the day, like, that makes your relationship so much stronger. I think a woman, no matter what, is always going to have more options than the male, whether he's got all that money or not. You're a woman, so it it doesn't balance out. Like, going at the club, I can go out to the club with fucking Drake, and I'm still going to have more options than Drake, and that's Drake, but it's because I'm a woman. You get what I'm saying? Sexual so, options. Yeah, sexual options. That's what I'm saying, So, because we're talking about cheating. That's so, what yeah, yeah, yeah. She's talking about We're sex, talking yeah. about right, cheating. Cool. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's different. Now, my question was, what if, like with the whole monogamy stuff like that, it's it's not attractive for, I don't know if you guys agree with me, what if the male isn't, like for example, it's not a high value male, he can't pay your bills and all that and all that, I don't think he it should be tolerated that he's an adulterer at this point you're just trash like there's no point for me to take you serious if you want to flirt with all these people or or slide in people's dms I, i'm not no what do you mean that that if you're not doing more to have that ability you are you asking me or are you asking the girls on the panel i'm asking all y'all I, I, I really want to fucking okay. know. like Drake. if you have if the only thing you can offer girls to get gain attraction is oh i can put you on live or something like that yeah. but you can't pay nobody's bills you can't take care of a car no you can't you know pick up the slack to be that type of male where it's like that's acceptable you can do that like okay to have that respect right mm -hmm. uh, anybody else want to weigh in so you agree with her I okay with her. anybody else want to weigh in on that no um i always tell girls um men are, are only as faithful as their options whether they're watching Pornhub and looking at it and jacking off to another girl you can basically count that as him wanting to have sex with another woman um you know, or him actually going out there and fucking girls. The only difference typically between those two guys is one has the capability of getting the girl. The other one doesn't. So if your dude is watching porn, trust me, in his mind, he's fantasizing about fucking another bitch. So my thing is, since we know men are only faithful to their options, pick the guy that you want to cheat, accept cheating from. Bam. That's how you handle the problem. So when it does inevitably happen at some point or some shit, you're able to get out of your feelings, and understand, you know what? I'm with a winner. And it kind of comes with the territory. I think when your uh, expectations are kind of high. For guys to be monogamous and they, they let you down, you wonder why it's like niggas need to bust nuts, man. Yeah, keeping one thousand. Like he might love you with all his heart, but like niggas gonna do what they do. And contrary to what you know, Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat tells women, uh, you're not that fucking special, ladies. You really aren't. Um, when it comes to sex and having sex with other women, uh, men, the best pussy is new pussy. It's not your girl or a chick that you've hooked up with before. Men are always gonna want new bodies, so. Your job as the woman is you can either A, cry about it and say, I'm leaving you, you're not monogamous to me, and then whatever. Or B, put your ego to the side, understand that you're the main chick, he cares about you, and just accept the fact that men are only going to be faithful as their options. There's one option for you, though. If he's a man of God like myself, this nigga. he will have a, a choice to make, make you the only one. Fresh is lying. Ladies, <laughs> just just assume if he's higher value or he's attractive, other women are going to want to have sex with him. But that was my question. He may enact on it, and th that's why I told you. Find the guy oh. that is worthy of accepting it from. So pick a winner. So that if he does cheat on other, like the, those two men that you talked about, there you go. Find that guy where if he fucks another girl, you're like, <sighs> all right. So you know... Um, I'm going to stick beside him. Yeah. So another reason why I'm kind of like okay with the whole cheating thing is because I'm looking at it long term. Like I'm not only looking at it for my benefit, but also my kids. Like I want them to like be able to go on trips with us, you know, have like um be play piano, be in do MMA, like have 
extra stuff, you know, like for them to be taken care of, basically. You know, so I'm not just thinking about me. Oh, yeah. just cheating. I'm like thinking, okay, this guy has to also provide yeah. for my kids. Like I want to have a good life and I want my kids to have a good life. Therefore, I can compromise on him stepping out here and there, you know? Fair enough. Hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, and that's and that's where it's so important to make sure the guy that you're accepting that from is worthy. You know, if he's a loser, then yeah, he better be fucking monogamous. I agree with y'all. Like I'll, I'm, I, I, I give advice, you know, that helps women and men. You know, obviously the, the thing that sucks here is that if I give advice to men that benefits them, well, the women are going to lose to a degree. If I give advice to women that benefits them, men are going to lose to a degree. It's never going to be fair when it comes to dating. Someone has to concede to another. One party has to maintain the leverage. My only argument is that the man needs to maintain the leverage for the relationship to work. If the woman maintains their leverage, well, now she's in a leadership position. When a woman's in a leadership position, what happens? She's going to start to lose attraction to that man because he's showing her through his actions that she is of higher value than himself. And women respond to a man favorably if he's of higher status than herself. Women date up, men date down. So the man always needs to be on top when it comes to leverage and status and everything else uh, associated with that. And um, I've also <laughs> seen my dad like work himself, him, himself up. So in my mind, I'm like, man, if I was him, I would want to have some fun on the side too because everything he's done, I don't know if he does it. I don't know. He's if he does, he's kept it on the low because you know him nice. and my mom Good. are like happy. They still have like attraction. They still flirt, you know. So I understand it from that perspective also because I've seen it. Yeah. You know, so I know how hard it is for a man. All that pressure, you know, it's it's crazy. Like I would, if I was a man, I would want to have fun too on the side. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's. I think um the easiest way for me to explain it is men are self made millionaires, women are trust fund babies. So when you're a self made millionaire, you're gonna move a little bit differently, and you're gonna be different in the way that you spend your money. When you're a trust fund baby, you can't tell a self-made millionaire how they spend their money. It's the same exact thing. As a woman, you're given your gifts at birth. You can't tell a man how to express his sexuality because you guys don't understand what it takes to become a self-made millionaire. You were given your money up front. So that's why I always tell women is that you'll never understand the male sexual struggle or the male experience because you were given your value up front. Men have to create their value. So that's why I always laugh when girls say, why can't you just be monogamous or why can't you just fuck one girl? For you, that's easy to say because since... 14 years old, you've been getting attention for men and having the ability to pick the best guy. Men don't get to enjoy this benefit sometimes ever. I don't think women care it regardless. They so. don't care regardless, but yeah. so yeah, it's I mean, like, hey man, it is what it is just so for the guys out there to understand, but that's kind of the difference. Yes, I'm Zena. I actually do. I don't want to be annoying, but I do yeah, have another question. Um, okay, so this is mainly for the ladies, I guess, because I want to know what you think. So you how soon do you like how what do you think is acceptable like uh, like how soon out of a relationship for you to have sex as a woman and or as a man and then like my opinion like honestly i just i don't think because i believe in the whole value thing whatever so i just feel like once a woman's out of a relationship she should wait until you know she's talking to someone that she's trying to be serious with not just you know i have friends that's as soon as they're out of relationships they want to try to get under somebody to get over somebody you get what i'm saying like i don't really believe in that so that's why i kind of want to know start here with camel What's your thoughts? Um, I agree. Like, I don't think that they should just use someone else to get over someone. I think that you should wait and talk to somebody and then go from there. Um, I feel like you should wait, but life happens where you, you need somebody to get over somebody. Dick and happens. Sometimes it... <laughs> Well, that's true. That's I mean, true. It, ju it just happens sometimes, but uh, you sometimes. should wait. It's just What'd better for the best per for the for the other person to <laughs> to wait. Fuck? Don't don't put that hurt. Don't hurt people. Mm -hmm. Hurt people. Don't bleed on somebody else that didn't cut you. <laughs> Sorry, I, I fell into dick. <laughs> Sorry, we're laughing I... at Chris. You ladies, continue on. Continue on with your conversation. Go. I think I've done both in the past, and I found that I just kind of like would try so hard not to hurt that I would put everything and my all into someone who I wasn't even serious about and then I would end up even more hurt afterwards or you know just like trying to romanticize them when that wasn't even my intention in the first place of even talking to them but it's just naturally that's what I'm used to at that point after being in a long-term relationship so I would if I was ever single again I would definitely have to wait a long time um, I don't think that works for me because I'm the type that after like I stop talking to someone or I break up with someone, I just shut down. Like I don't want to know anything about guys. I want to just focus on focus on myself. Just mm -hmm. take a break. Like I just want. I don't want to do anything 
I don't have to do, I don't want to have something to do with another guy like that. Like, I just want right. to, like, kind of, like, just, just a cleanse. Just kind of, like, just. Detox. Yeah, detox. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, that's just my, my mm -hmm. method of coping with, like, you know, breakups or, you know. So. Okay. Yeah, for me, I think you should just be alone for, like, a month or two after you break up with somebody. Like, you shouldn't even talk to anyone. Like, not even, like, trying to get to know anyone. Because you need to, like, heal yourself. And you need to, like, figure yourself out and figure out who you are. Okay. But then there's I mean, I was talking about sexually, She's not like necessarily mentally. Because some people break up, like, healthy. You know what I'm saying? Some people do break up, like, I've just had... it doesn't work. So it's not yeah. necessarily that you need to heal. If you're not broken, you don't need to heal. But I mean sexually, because there's, for men, men rush into fucking women if they I can. Just think... So I feel like, you know, some girls, they think once they broke up, like, oh, it's demon time. Let's go be a hoe and stuff. <laughs> but then when you meet the guy that you want, now, look, you got to pass. Because if you're serious about the guy and he's asking questions, you're going to tell him, like, Oh yeah, I was getting trained at this club. Oh no, she ain't club. gonna say that. Well, oh. if you're serious about the guy, you should be able to be open. I've always been open, <laughs> so like, and that's why I make consciousness. Well, that's why I make yeah. consciousness. My body count with men is seven and four women. So, and I stand by that. So, I just feel like March. don't make those. I feel like don't make those decisions that you know if you're going to if you're looking to get in a relationship again, you're gonna regret doing. Like you're gonna regret the stories that you're going to end up telling your partner. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, no? no, I mean, that was a really good question. Uh, I, I mean... <laughs> What's y'all's answer? Uh, it, it's half and half. I mean, um, some girls... You, are we assuming the breakup... Well, it depends on how the breakup was. Was it amicable or was it bad? I mean, either or. Because I think she gave an example of where it was bad. Yeah, so she gave an example of where it was bad. So it was like, oh, you got to yeah. heal yourself. I think heal yourself. it's even a good breakup Mike. that you shouldn't talk... I, like, even if it's a good breakup and you liked the person or whatever and you... I've yeah. never been broken up with. I've always broken up with a person. But still... Uh, you like, took a month off? Yeah, like still, okay. I would stay alone for a month, read books, find, figure out who you are without someone else. Like you have to. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I would say, you know, some girls take that route. Uh, other girls just immediately go to the club, especially like I noticed when it feels like a very long term relationship. Uh, they go to the club and they're going crazy. That rebound is strong, you know, uh, or a divorce or something. But it really depends on the girl. Uh, it really does depend on her and her character, her sexual indiscretions in the past. Uh, was she tied up for a very long time? Uh, you know, more than likely she's going to rebound the other way and go on some three or four shit. So it really depends on, on the girl and how the breakup happens. Listen, man, girls going to do what they want to do. Yeah. Regardless, you tell them wait a month, two months. Hey, man, a nigga value shows up. He's on the, on the spot. She feeling, dude. She's going to do what she want to do. So facts. Though, but I am yeah. a genuine time? believer that if it was a relationship for most girls, if they break up with their guy within 24 hours, they're going to fuck someone else. Yep. Especially if she initiated the breakup and I'll say why. Women typically don't break up with a guy until they have someone else firm in hand that's their replacement ready to go. Yeah. Typically. But there are some girls that kind of need, like, they'll break up with a guy and they need to, like, just get away from everything. Like, they just start talking to guys, period. They don't go on dates. But that's a, fuck, a, that's no a small time. percentage of people of, yeah. of girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very small. Because yeah, I've broken up with him so, several times. This last time he's broken up with me, but I just feel like, I don't know, for me, I don't feel like March. it's... But you had a replacement, though. So well, yeah. sex is a feeling, so that's what I'm saying. Like, Have I had a replacement? Yeah. No, I've always had a fantasy replacement of the per of the other person, but that's not an actual replacement because that's not necessarily. I mean, it could be an option, but it's not actually. But girls the always have a backup. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm yeah. not in that vicinity to get that. So as of right now, I mean, I'm just here sitting duck. So that doesn't make sense. All right. Well, girls always have a backup. It's exactly. always. Uh, we got some chats here and then last thoughts. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First favorite part of the show. Um, where we at, Chris? Right here. Okay. Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Wayne. Okay. New member. Shout uh, out to you, bro. Ten subs. Thank on Twitch. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate no, on, that. No, uh, on YouTube. Oh, YouTube? on YouTube. Okay, cool. Yep. Oh, Mer ten fresh. If it, Mer can you do that now? Yeah, you can. That's crazy. It lets you give membership now. Yep. Shout out to Wayne, oh, man. Shout, shout out to Wayne. By the way. Shout out to Wayne. Man. You YouTube is switching it up. Yeah, it is. Is that new? Uh, no, it's been there, but it's not shown on Streamyard, so it's hardly recognizable. Okay. Uh, I didn't uh, hardly what? Fresh, you know what I'm talking about. Talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Fresh just <laughs> rebels in that, man. He he rebels in that. A touring test. Uh, a, tour, a touring test. What's a touring test? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got uh, 20 bucks bottom. here from the Bikini Bottom Bandit. Went on a date with a black woman. She was an hour late to the date. I instantly knew she didn't like me like that. So I acted like I was so interested and went 
uh, when the bill came, I paid for mine and left her with her bill. <laughs> uh, that's evil, my friend. That's very evil. Uh, Uncle Luke, 1980s. Uh, Colombian pussy, it's different. Smashing baddies out here and watching FNF while smashing. Oh, my God. Bro. What the fuck? niggas, bro. <laughs> bro, vagina's vagina, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, well. <laughs> this nigga said it's different in Colombia. <laughs> nigga, what's wrong with you? It's going to be a little bit more ran through, bro. Uh, the Bikini Bottom Bandit. Pink Hair said, I know about bad relationships because I was in one. Okay, I'm an expert in physics because I tripped and fell yesterday. SMH, you aren't very smart, are you? <laughs> you have anything you want to say back to him? Did I say I was an expert? I have a therapist, though. So, yeah. No, no, he's he's saying because you were using that to kind of like dispense some advice. And he was saying like, that's that's like a ridiculous way. I was just trying to make sure that no one go through what I go through. Uh, I'm pretty sure they, they know not to do that. All right, Kaio uh, 9,000. It's over 9,000! Myron, keeping the poly uh, polygamy to himself, promote it. Hello, if you ladies grouped up and got a man together, you'd have your best friends, kids, and your house, man all in a house. I already know the jealousy within y'all. Don't allow it, though. Yeah, I mean, it was originally, you know, instituted because of what? That whole term, uh, it takes a family to raise a village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's typical where a powerful man would have multiple <laughs> wives and they would all live in one house and they all ra take, raise the children together and it works out. Uh, but I mean, in Western society, you know, women tend to think that they're equal to men. And I and I laugh at that because women are not equal to men at all. We're very, very, very different. I think a good example is the wisest man in the world, King yeah. Solomon. Yeah. Thousands. And I want to clarify this, too. When I say men and women aren't equal, I don't mean that as in like my life is more valuable than yours or some bullshit like that. What I mean is that we are not equal within the confinements of relationships. There's certain authorities and things that I can do that you can't necessarily do and vice versa. OK. Uh, men need to be in the authority position with their woman because when they ha have the authority, now they also have the responsibility. How the fuck can I protect you and take care of you if I have zero authority? Think about that. You cannot be responsible while simultaneously not having authority. That's slavery. So if I'm going to be responsible for you, I need to also have authority over you. Or we can make this 50-50, you know, this bullshit Western mantra of men and women are equal, partnership, all this other stuff, and you do what you want to do. I do what I want to do. We're both equal in a relationship, which doesn't make sense on paper because no Fortune 500 company is run on equal partnerships. There's always a president. There's always a, you know, a hierarchy dominance ladder. And uh, we go from there. But we already know nothing of significance gets done by a committee. It always gets done by one main decision maker. And my argument is that the man needs to be the decision maker. The woman influences it, but the man has the final say. And that's how it works. When a woman has the final say, she don't respect her man. So... Uh, anybody have anything on that? No? Damn, you guys agree with a lot of shit I say. All right. See, I'm not that misogynistic, am I? Or am I? You just I'm getting tired. Truth, I mean, I'm I kind of prepped them. I kind of prepped them, you know, I kind of... I saw well, you in the shade suck, room. But sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? You saw what on the shade room? Yeah, they do. Yeah, on the shade room, they clip it and make it look crazy, yeah, right? but I just, you know, I just came here for the truth. I came so did you get ambushed? Mind. Wait till after. Well, he did try to just come get me, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, <laughs> uh, notice how all the girls who answered Zena's question missed the point. They were all talking about feelings when Zena was talking about long-term impact. Bitches really be retarded. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, so, she accepted the answers from them. May, so maybe I didn't word the question right. So I just kind of gave up. <laughs> all right. So we're going to do last thoughts and you can tell us how thoughts were on the show. Hate it. Love it. Thoughts on the show. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, I never really watched the show before I, before i came here but sure you didn't. um i've seen you guys obviously like i've seen it um but i had like a mentality that um i guess coming in here that i was like okay well i already know what i feel and like after doing the show like actually i'm gonna have i'm gonna question like myself a little bit because there's a lot of things that you guys bring up that do make sense so what were some of those things just like just like um like the high value man and like being able to not be a hoe and things like that like it does it does make sense like those those things connect to some dots for you yeah that absolutely. you might have not okay mm -hmm. okay cool uh, hey that's good man if you can go back to your boyfriend as a better woman fuck it man that's that's what it's about a lot of couples watch us so I mean she's here in Miami but yeah. we'll see what happens she won't take a girl's trip now I came I came to do this oh you oh. did yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh shit! Like I, I told them that, like, hey, we can go on Monday. Like they have yeah. shows Monday, yeah. so they were down. Like, oh. I didn't come because to they party. do want to okay. learn more. Like, okay, yeah. that, might, that might be a plus then. Yeah. Then yeah, man, go over the fuck it, man. Uh, hope relationship gets better then. Um, you definitely have to have thick skin because you don't. You Fair just enough. tell the truth. Yeah. Um, so I came with that mindset, and I came with an open mind because I am looking to 
like up my dating level as far as like what I'm looking for in a man. And I knew that I need to be compatible with him as far as like knowing that I'm an asset to him. That's why I'm still in school because I know the man that I'm dating is a college graduate and one's a firefighter. Like they they're there in life kind of, you know. Yeah, you peeped that? So <laughs> what? What? Nothing. Sorry. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just just remember but, uh, that your success and your money isn't as important. Serve your man. And yeah, be and that's what off. I'm trying to do. You know, yeah, he just told me him. to make my oxtails and yeah. and be quiet. Get, get your education. I talk a lot. Don't get me don't get me go don't get it twisted. Go ahead and get your education. Course, make your money. Of course. Just understand that men would prefer a woman that serves them over a chick that has a career and has money. Men don't really care about I mean, your money. I just want to be a teacher. Someone, okay, no, okay. no money. <laughs> yeah. Some is off work with kids, you know. So, yeah, that sounds familiar. And I'm a, I, I like to cook. That's it. A teacher. Okay. Treat yeah. your man well and you'll be good. I'm going to try. Pick the best one. Um, I would say, I mean, a lot of the stuff you're saying is not my first time hearing it. Mm. So I guess it is refreshing to see um, like another side to it or just to hear it again and not think that mm -hmm. it was just something some random men had said to me or bits and pieces like um i i always like probably men's minds seeing how they think so it's rare uh, yeah i mean and, and men don't express a lot of things and they're told not to so i i really do like hearing man's perspective and most of my guy friends and the like earlier parts of my life have helped shape me into i feel like being a better girlfriend better woman just getting inside <laughs> of how they think um i would say I mean, I don't have any criticism. I'm a big Drew Afawalo fan, though. <laughs> I got to admit. All right, that's cool. I love yeah. her. Um, I think she does have a wonderful point of view as well. <laughs> Wait, who? Um, the the a... fat TikTok girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's beautiful. Damn, you got to explain it that way. Um, it's the easiest way to... Yeah. That's how they'll, they'll know with the annoying laugh. skin here. Yeah, she, but, that's a fact I, though. I she is obese though. She is oh, obese. I really don't, but I'm just I saying. Don't know you have to have thick skin. I have no idea. Okay, it's fine. She's a TikToker. It's fine. Yeah. Sorry. Continue on. So you're a fan of hers. Yeah, okay. I, I think that um, serving your man and doing what makes him happy is really important, mm -hmm. and not something. Who doesn't talk about that though? Does she? Um. <laughs> she doesn't. No, I mean, she I doesn't. think I'm sure that there's things that she might do for her boyfriend. That no, but I mean, she doesn't talk about on her social media. Is my point. No. I wonder I why. I wouldn't say no. Yeah. This is why I always say, like, women don't tell each other the truth when it comes to keeping their guy around. Like, Drew would never get on TikTok and say, you need to serve your man. She's going to push more I, feminist propaganda, which keeps women typically single. I think serving your man, though, like, that word is kind of, you know, it's loose. Oh my, God, my feelings. You serve It's him. loose. I mean, it's like. I know. It, you don't like the way it sounds and the way it makes you feel. I know. I know. I mean, no, no. I would say, um learning more about your man and how he operates will benefit you i do agree with that and that tending to those needs made. and serving that that's yeah. the problem service. is this like when, as long as it's reciprocated it's already been that's my argument it's already been reciprocated because the man attracted you yeah I, he had to meet requirements to even be in that position where you're even with him mm. yeah but there's things you have to do along the line to keep a woman. You have to, I mean, you have to eventually. But that's my argument is the, it's the woman's job to keep the man. Once a man has sex, it's incumbent upon the woman to keep her man. The clock is ticking. And I don't think women understand that and they don't understand the importance of it enough. They think the guy should be fighting to keep me. My mm -hmm. argument is if the guy has higher value and higher status than you, what makes you think he's going to fight to keep you when he can replace you easily with another girl? Right. I mean, yeah, but I guess you have to like. But Drew Alfalo isn't going to say that. And I think a lot of modern day women and influencers don't tell women these cold, hard truths that you need to serve your man to keep him. They're more concerned with, well, if I say serve your man, that's going to sound really misogynistic and fucked up. And it's not all, sexy. You know, it's not sexy. So what sounds better? Be empowered, girl. Your man needs You're to keep queen. you. You're a queen. You deserve the best. You want a table. Now I sound a little bit more politically correct. Now I sound a little bit more left. Now I sound a little bit more appeasing to female ego when I say that type of shit. But it's not true. This is why women perpetually stay single because they believe that mantra of the guy's not a guy to keep me. No, he doesn't. And they're not gonna. They're gonna move on and fuck another girl if you don't add value. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to stop like <clears throat> listening to every little voice or everything that goes wrong in your head when you're dating someone. And I've definitely learned that a lot recently. And to just kind of be able to accept that 
like sometimes you can't always get your point across or you can't have that exact outcome or response from a man that you want but still like understand and love him for like who he is like that's how you I think that's how you keep a man man oh sorry I thought it was muted yeah <laughs> I thought, I thought it was muted <laughs> that sounds great on paper but that assumes love is ideal and I always say you know women don't love idealistically they love opportunistically men are only loved under the condition that they provide value only children, dogs, and women are loved unconditionally. Shout out to Chris Rock. Man, Men I... are only loved under the uh, you know, prospect that they provide value. That's just how it is. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. That's why I tell guys you got to get your money on point, whatever. But men are never loved unconditionally. Only children and women are. This and is, dogs. This is scary, man. Ah, I mean, dude, she listens to Drew Afro, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, you got to understand that what we say versus what she says are two to clash. You know, Drew is telling women to empower themselves and do whatever the fuck that you want. And I'm here to tell y'all, you could do whatever you want, but you're not going to get the man that you want when you do that. What's wrong with listening, though, to like a difference of opinion and agreeing with both sides? Because she's incorrect. Yeah. She's 100% incorrect. Like what she oh, pushes God. is the feminist, the feminist narrative that keeps women perpetually single to put themselves above the man that they're with, to be in a leadership role with their man, to chase a career and in independence and money. This is all stuff that sounds great on paper, but actually hurts women in the long run when it comes to relationships. But if you're putting yourself above a man, then that's not feminism. Feminism is equality. So that's fake feminism. Yeah, it's modern day feminism, which keeps women perpetually single. So, yeah, man, I'm all for equality, but it's not necessarily about equality anymore. And and Drew, you know, she's not feminine. She's extremely masculine. She's fat. She's obnoxious. She's loud. These are things that <laughs> men typically don't find attractive in women. I'm being honest, you know. Men don't want women that are obese, and that's what she is. She is a obese. That's a fact. That's not me even talking shit. She is obese. I don't even know she weighs more than fresh. About. What was that? I don't even know who you guys are talking I, I about. Have no idea. Yeah, it, she's not part of it. Uh, no, but okay. it, it, but it's it's scary because she has a lot of influence over women. So she not sees a lot. Me. She leads a lot of women astray. So yeah. Eh. Yeah. I guess considering how you guys described her, it's a specific type of woman she has influence over. And that's why they're not, single. Not per se, not but single? she's a big audience. She has a pretty big audience. Right. Um, thank you guys for having me again. I did enjoy the small, the smaller panel this time because last time it was like so many girls, <laughs> three special guests. Like it was, you know, mayhem. <laughs> um, all I'm gonna say is that I hope that women realize that we can get more out of life with a man, like together with a man on their side. Like mm. I, we get more juice out of it. So I feel so. I mean, why not? Like you know, I don't want to be single forever and like have to be dependent for myself like no i want someone to take care of me and my kids and i want someone that like my dad you know he um he knows how to fix anything any issue he's wise he's reliable and that's kind of hard to find you know so that's why i haven't been able to find that because i'm looking for someone that's like my dad that way whenever he's gone i have this man that can you know um replace that yeah yeah you know? and i've always had security with my dad i've always had like you know someone to go to so i want that from a man and i haven't been able to find that you know mm. Especially that, like, you know, makes money and good looking and tall. You know, it's just like, it's hard. All right. No, <laughs> it, it is. It's tough it out is. here. Yeah. It is. And I mean, when you look at it from the perspective of, can I find this man and get him to commit to me? It is hard. It's hard for men to get sex. It's hard for women to get relationships with men of value. Yeah. It's both. Uh, she about fall asleep. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, so you... I'm like really. All right, we'll move on. Too. Okay, Zena, go ahead. <gasps> you, don't have, you don't have any last thoughts. Zena. Okay, last thoughts. Good job, everyone. God bless you. <laughs> Shout out to you, okay, Zena. Go ahead. Um. <clears throat> so follow me on Instagram, Zena underscore the witch. I love the panel tonight. I love the ladies. They actually, I don't know, probably one of the better, better panels for sure. Very chill. Um not very many triggers like not very many triggered women um they seem very open to hearing the shit and taking it and and no pun intended um let me see i'm still single um um shit i don't know yeah follow me on instagram if you want to come on uh fresh and fit you know i just learn a lot every time i come on the panel i like that i'm able to open up and talk about we're gonna get zena married shit. and yes i want to get married to a very specific male so if y'all help me with that <laughs> but um i am single i you yeah, know i like flirting time. i do like teasing i want to be taken out spoiled but I, be real you hear how we talk on this panel you're most yeah. likely not gonna hit i'm sorry i just 
I'm letting you know now, but if you actually fight for it, it's a possibility. We got uh, Anton Tipa one, 20 bucks. Uh, super sticker, OP. Thanks. Uh, Brandon Hurst, the Turing test the Turing test is a method of inquiry in artificial intelligence AI for determining whether or not a computer is capable of thinking like a human being. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. That's you guys kind are of fucking... a compliment, low key. No, he's saying no. that you would fail the no, Turing test. Yeah, that's a compliment to me. That's not a compliment. Man. To oh me, it God. is. Right. Well, he Yo, cycle 1000. So I guess it's whatever. All right, great sauce. Uh, 50 bucks. <laughs> Xena first regarded realistic and logical and could be considered to be a permanent host on the show. All right, Cyber right, uh, 1000. Send her cool. your DM. Yeah, so shoot, your, uh, shoot your shot. Send her a dick pic. Anyway, uh, with that said, guys, uh, we'll catch you guys um, tomorrow, Tuesday. So, Wednesday, Womanizer Wednesday, we're going to cover a couple things. We're going to cover a TikTok situation and we're also going to cover some stuff with one of our. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Some craziness as far Internet as like, women. Yeah. But other than that, guys, we'll catch you guys Wednesday, 7 p.m. Other than that, love y'all. All the ladies' Instagrams are below. Go ahead and make sure to follow them and or send a dick pic or send maybe an email if it's there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys, we'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Peace. Peace. All the night, it's my world. City light.